I survived 200 days with all the mods in hardcore Minecraft. If you don't know yet, all the mods 8 is a mod pack that adds tons, and I mean tons of new mods to the game. Spanning from technology to magic to adventure, it has it all. In the first 100 days of this series, we settled into our alien spaceship, defeated the wild and chimera boss, and created a powerful energy generator to power our jetpack and other gadgets. In these 100 days, it's my goal to continue expanding our mine colony, build overpowered mob and crop farms, and continue to explore all of the new mods in this mod pack. With that being said, everybody, relax, grab your favorite snacks, and enjoy as I try to survive 200 days with all the mods in Hardcore Minecraft. All right, we're back in this world. It's been a little bit, but uh, I mean, I'm sure we still got a lot to do. Now, first of all, I gotta charge up our jetpack here because that's running out of battery. So boom, we'll pop that into our advanced energy cube. We did a pretty good job setting this up in the last 100 days. Now, one thing that I really wanted to continue doing in the last 100 days was working on our mine colony. My fellow here is going to work one thing I should make sure I do is kind of force load this whole area because if I do that, it will let us continue any work that we have in the area without actually having to be here. Okay. Boom, there we go, I got the area lined up. Bye. Now, I do have a really good gear, but we don't have any mending on it, which is definitely an issue, and I don't really wanna go mining for ancient debris. Now, we did have a village here, but unfortunately, it looks like all of the villagers have died. I see a couple of guys walking over there, actually. Let's see. Oh my god, no, it is a villager. It's a nitwit, though. I hate nitwits. Okay, I'm pretty sure nitwits can breed, though. If this one's a normal villager, I think we can actually do something here. And that that would be incredible because that means that we'll have ourselves a village next to our mine colony and next to our base here. So if I want to get these guys to breed, how do I do that again? Do I just need to give them carrots or what? Okay, yes, they just need food. Yeah, if we could set up like uh, an automatic farm, maybe using create mod or something of the sort, that would be so useful. Now, before we get to building some really powerful crop and mob farms, I want to thank Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. Opera GX is a web browser that adds a whole ton of new and amazing features to your web browsing experience. First of all, it gives you as much customization as you'd have within a Minecraft world. Here's the Blockified mod, for example. First of all, the wallpaper is just really cool and has a Minecraft-ish theme going on, which I really like. Then on top of that, the sound effects for this mod are really nice. It has this calm background piano music that I actually really like because this is the type of music I listen to while I do other things. And it's really cool that it has different sound effects while you're browsing because it kind of makes you feel like you're still in your gaming mode. And also, listen to this. One of my favorite mods is the medieval one because look at this, there's a literal animated dragon on your loading screen. It's also really well themed for everything else. Like there's just sword sounds when you browse. And the good news is the GX store gives you thousands of mods to choose from. Attached to that, there are animated wallpapers in the Opera add-on section, which lets you choose some moving wallpapers. Opera GX also has some great performance optimization features. Using GX control, you can significantly reduce the amount of resources that the Opera GX browser uses in comparison to other browsing softwares, which is perfect if you want to play games and have things open on your browser at the same time. And if you're looking to switch from a different browser to Opera GX, it's literally as easy as throwing an Ender Pearl. Using their quick import tool, you can import all of your settings from your previous browser to Opera GX in a split second. So make sure to download Opera GX using my link in the description below. Thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring this video, and now let's get back into it. Yeah, let's see how we're doing on food right now. Like, let's say bread. We got some bread, <laughs> some carrots. Yeah, we barely have food. So in that case, uh, I'm thinking we should set up ourselves a food farm. And we have a lot of space out here, so we could definitely do it under our main alien ship portion of the base. Maybe we can make a little dome and have it automatically harvest food for us. Now, in that case, I'd like to stick with our theme of building out with this polished soapstone. 
Oh, and you know what? Maybe I should use one of my building tools for this because whew, why place blocks manually when you can place 80 at a single time? Uh-huh, here we go. Horizontal column, boom. That's kind of what we're looking for, isn't it? This is making my life a million times easier. Are you kidding me? Okay, and I broke my diamond wand. Yeah, you know what? We should make this infinity wand. It lasts forever, so we don't have to keep wasting diamonds. Should we just try to kill a wither real quick? I feel like we're pretty powerful in that realm. Like, I'm not too scared of the wither. The question, though, is if we have wither... Oh my god, I have so many wither goals. Okay, never mind. Totems of Undying and Golden Apples. There we go. I grabbed, like, all of the stuff. I think, like, here is fine, honestly. Bam, bam, and bam. Okay, boom, we got the wither. Oh, I don't have arrows. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's actually bad, though. Okay, wait, hold on. This was the worst planning ever. What am I doing, guys? Oh, no, it's regenerating. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, that was a bit scary. So I got my nether star. Very nice. Let's return back home. And is our builder working just fine? Let me do a checkup uh, on this here. Oh, there's a wandering chair that just spun right in front of me. Hello. Okay, I'm going to ignore you for now. Can you move out of my way? Here we go. University. Okay, we need to fill the materials up here. Let's see. How much oak do I have? Uh-oh, none. What about dirt? Oh, I have dirt. Well, let us mine some trees. It's a really easy thing to do. Look at this. Bam. Tis night time, so I shall sleep. Oh my god, what is that? This looks crazy right now. Hold on. Okay, I don't know what that was. Copy and BT in my bottom left. That happens whenever I drop items in bulk. Okay, boom. Copy and BT. I don't know why that's happening. Okay, just so you know. I did see that we need grass specifically. So I guess that means we need shears. Oh, yes, it worked. And I can vein mine it. I love this. I just got 60. Oh, yeah. Oh, building inventory full. Oh, yes, but I can see the inventory. How beautiful is that? And I guess I should explain this really quickly one more time. Essentially, with mine colonies, you have a colony that uh, builds builds itself for you. And this, for example, is the builder's hut. And from this, we can build other structures because this is where we hire our employees. And right now I'm building a university that requires the rest of these materials to be put inside so that our builder can take care of it. And la, boom, boom. We need poppies, oak slabs. We need a bunch of stairs for this build, so I'm gonna make those. Bam, okay, there's the stairs. Oh, and it's full again. Uh... Oh, here we go. Okay. Looks like uh, we've been storing some stuff here. Okay, now we need tall grass. Oh, you can make tall grass. Bam, I see. Oh, look at that. We're getting to work over here. Oh, yeah, it's good to see progress. Bam, three poppies. Very nice. Okay, bam, and I need smooth stone slabs. Yes, there we go. Boom. Okay, looks like we've filled this up with everything that is needed for the build, and we should be able to return to what we were doing, which is building out our new area. So here's the progress so far. I'm thinking of really extending it out this way. I think it'll be nice if we have a little pathway coming out and then we'll open up into more buildings. Yeah, and I wanna flatten this piece of land out so that we can put our first building here. And boom, I'm out of the soapstone blocks. So we are gonna need to get some more. Let's head into our mines. And yeah, okay, so we're looking for these blocks here. And there it is. We just made mine all this. Oh yeah, I'm getting a bunch of inventories full of this stuff. I do think we got enough soapstone for now. Um, we got a pretty crazy amount. Polished soapstone. Okay, I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of stacks of this stuff and keep putting it in my inventory. And I still have 1,500 soapstone. No way, no way. Okay, we're good. Uh, so I have this area kind of filled in. Now, we could just do a very simple farm and have simple food, but that's not what I want to do. What I want to do is definitely make use of the Farmer's Delight mod, which adds a crazy 
amount of food into the pack. And I'd like to create the food that has the most saturation. Okay, so roasted mutton chops, for example. This gives you a good amount of food and also a bunch of saturation. So let's see, we need tomato, beetroot, cooked mutton chops, and cooked rice. So we essentially need like an automatic sheep farm, first of all. Like that's the hardest thing. Um, with rice, I'm guessing that's just a plant as well. Yeah, so it's salt, rice, and water. Okay, so getting salt apparently is what, what the issue is gonna be because you need water bottles. <laughs> Guys, I can't do this. Are you kidding me? Okay, I don't know. Let me see more food options. Hold on, chicken soup. This seems like it may be a little bit more doable. So we just need cabbage, carrot, chicken, and another cabbage if we want. So we can just get a bunch of cabbage with one farm set up. How are we going to farm chickens? Okay, let's see. So I looked at a design made by the YouTuber Alfred GG, and uh, he basically described how to go start to finish to make a mob farm in all the mods eight. So that's what I'm gonna use. Anyways, first thing we need to do is actually grab some spawners. What we want is to make some cardboard boxes. And oh, these are harder to make than I thought they are, it seems. Hold on, so we need sawdust. Okay, I mean, I guess we'll go with the way that I know. Here we go, pulverizer. So actually, if we use the pulverizer, it looks like we'll get instant conversion into sawdust. And piston and machine frame. And now we should be able to make the pulverizer. Very nice. Maybe I can put it off to this side because it may require a different type of energy. Yeah, these require K energy and this requires FE. So we'd want it to go from there and then we probably just want advanced universal cables. And I think I already have some. Then we can do it from the cube. Perfect. So then we can do, for example, just put out one cable here. Oh, it worked. So in that case, maybe I can place pulverizer. Oh, <gasps> and it's charging it. Are you kidding me? Oh, yes, yes, yes. And bam. Damn, there it goes. Sawdust. Oh, that's all we really needed. We don't even need that much of it. Basically, we need these cardboard boxes because these are going to be used to pick up spawners. And then cardboard boxes, I'll just make a few. Hello, dungeons. Oh, there's a spawner. Oop, I almost broke it. Bam, I cardboard boxed it. Then you can pick it up. So now we have a spawner in there and we'll just do that a couple more times. Ooh, and yeah, we're gonna have some spawners here, which are dangerous, but I think that should be fine because we're gonna be transforming them anyways. Here we go, here's more spawners. There we go. There's a ba. oh, that's just a regular spawner. Okay, well, I'll grab this spawner as well. Well, we can return home. Let's check up on our build here as well. Looks like it's definitely starting to come along. Now, I want to make sure it's still being built. Um, and I think nighttime affects that, so we'll sleep that off. So he says he needs one you? carved pumpkin, although I thought he had one. Okay, let's get him a carved pumpkin. You know, hopefully that'll make him happy. Boom. And it does look like he's still Hi. working, but here you go. Here's your carved pumpkin. Enjoy. Now, what blocks do we want to build this spawner with? That's a good question. Maybe quartz. Quartz might actually look kind of cool within this theme. Do I have any quartz currently? Oh, I do have some, but I definitely like to get more for building in general, especially if we're going to start using it for this building. We're probably going to want to start using it for other buildings as well. Well, plus, I do kind of want to check out the nether again. First of all, let us grab our pickaxe that has fortune six on it. Oh, and I forgot about our little nether hub. Oh, look at how nice this is. Whoa. Now look at how much quartz there's here. Are you kidding me? Okay, we can vein mine it. Yeah, there we go. 36 just from that. Ooh, there's an epic mob. This poor guy is just a noob, isn't he? Oh, oh, that's sad. You know what? That's not a bad helmet. We don't need it, but that's not bad. Ooh, there's another boss. 
I'm being a pest, really, because I, I don't even need to kill this guy. Yeah, it seems like only the end bosses can really do a lot of damage to me. Like, this guy just got destroyed, you know? Okay, boom. I think we are good on courts for a little while. Okay, so I may or may not have lost where my portal is. Um, That is a possibility. I will be needing to mark those coordinates. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. I'm going to set a temporary waypoint, which I am going to make my way over to, and we'll see if that's where the portal is. Oh, that actually was it. Oh, that's great. Okay, and I'm gonna mark those coordinates. And the question is, how much can we do with quartz in this pack? I think we can do quite a lot. Okay, boom. Wow, that's only four stacks. Interesting. And now, let me see. I think the bricks are more so something that I could see us using. I would like to have like a kind of a Greek type of look to it. Now, from what I understand, we need like a nine by nine by 11 type of thing. So we are gonna want to do pillar and then boom, 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 and pillar. That means we have nine blocks here. And then we will carry this around. Let's see, we need something called a mob masher. You know what? I like the look of it. It looks pretty cool fairly simple items here just ores and then iron spikes okay Ooh, i think we are gonna be in trouble here i basically only have one stack of iron i mean this kind of calls for like literally nine of these things yes we need more iron now the question is where should i mine exactly because we did uncover that mining dimension and if we take a look here i don't remember if there was a bunch of iron or not i feel like there was not oh hello oh Ooh, there is iron. This is good. Okay. Okay, well, remember how just a moment ago we needed iron? It's been like a few minutes, literally just a few minutes, and I'm up to like 12 stacks of iron. Wow. We shall smelt you up, all of you. Okay, easy peasy. Smelted that up quickly. So we need a bunch of iron blocks, first of all. Then we need a bunch of iron swords, which we shall make. Iron spikes. So we need two per mob grinder, and we need nine of them. So that means we need 18 of these. Okay, let's Let's see, boom, one mob masher, boom. Nine. Perfect. And now we should just be able to place some redstone blocks below what we're going to be doing here. Very cool look. And then theoretically, yeah, there we go. We've placed these down. Look at those mob mashers. Ooh. And oh, look at this. This is getting built. Oh my goodness. Now there are also mob masher upgrades. So we can get looting and sharpness. Let's quickly go mine for some more ore just so that we can really load up this time. Ooh, there's all the modium here. I have uh, discovered this thing called vein mining, which as you can see, works very well. <laughs> oh, there's another level here? Are you kidding me? Oh, I did not know that. Look at this. Ooh, there's an end level too. Oh, and we've reached bedrock. Here we go. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there is anything especially crazy here. We'll just keep doing what we were doing. I'm considering just mining in the overworld for a bit so that we can get ores like lapis that I need. Okay, I think I have mined enough. I have gotten a few stacks of different blocks. And I've been trying to search for more lapis in the past uh, little time here, but I have not been able to find any. But I figure that is fine, because if I really need some, I can search in the overworld. Okay, now I can drop all of this off. I mean, look at this. A stack and a half of diamond blocks. Before we really continue with anything else, I must say that we need to figure out our energy situation. Because without energy, we are going to be lost. My guess is that what we need is watermelon, and that's it, basically. Why isn't this making what we need? Let me grab have some melons and put that into the machine. Okay, that's multiple stacks of melons. Let's see if that does anything for us here. So I'm guessing we would put that in there and let's see. Biofuel. Boom, biofuel goes in. Perfect. So we're back in business. We might want to give this some speed upgrades. Actually, our bottleneck right now is in our crusher. So let's add speed upgrades there. Now we need upgrades there. Okay, fine. I'll make more. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, and I'm out. Okay, that means I need more infused alloy, which means we need to put iron in our metallurgic infuser. I don't know where our metallurgic infuser is even. Well, we'll just make a new one. What's going on? 
on now? Oh boy. Oh, it's not getting any power. Hold on. What's happening right now? Wait, these upgrades were a really bad idea, maybe. Hold on. I don't even know anymore. I can try to put the upgrades in both of them. Okay, we'll see if that glitches things out or not. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, we'll leave that alone. <laughs> I don't know. Well, in that case, we don't need this metallurgic infuser right now. Okay, I wanted to create the mob masher upgrades. So let's see, can I make a stack of those? No, I can't. Very well then, we need more blue dye. Okay, so then we have the looting, <clears throat> which will be split between nine machines. So that's seven each and that's good enough for me. Then we also need these, difficulty of which is making all the iron swords, but we can do that for sure. And boom, 64 of both of these main upgrades. I don't want to put the sharpness in yet or anything like that because these do actually attack me as well. And uh, yeah, I'd rather not die to sharpness 10 drills. So we're going to wait on that. We do need a glass variant that we want to use. Okay, now there's something that I shouldn't do that I kind of want to do for glass, okay? There's this stuff called Lumium glass and look at it, okay? First of all, it has an elite look off the, off the title, but second of all, I really like how it looks in and of itself. I think it'll look really nice in combination with the glowstone pillar that we kind of have going here. And I think it'll really make our glass stick out from the typical. Even though we shouldn't be making this glass, I would like to take on the challenge and uh, try to make it. Now, fire charge is the first step, okay? And for this, we need gunpowder, blaze powder, and coal. Fair enough, not the worst. Lumium dust. We need tin, glowstone, and fire charge, and silver. Oh my god, what am I getting myself into? I'm already regretting this. I'm already thinking of not doing this, to be honest, but let's see if I have all of these. Glowstone, let's see. Tin. Okay, we have a bunch of tin. We have mostly a bunch of glowstone, but we do have some silver. Okay. Okay, so we seem to have all of the ores we need. Boom, silver dust, tin dust, perfecto. Actually, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So now, if we do lumium and do lumium dust, we might be able to make a bunch of this stuff. Boom, a stack. Yeah, that works for me. That's great. Now, hardened glass, that's one that we didn't really look at. So we need obsidian, which isn't the worst because we can vein mine. We need sand, it looks like. And then we need quartz dust, which also isn't the worst. And then we need fire. Charge. Oh, they're chasing. Look, get away from my villager friend. Okay, I gotta figure out so many things so quickly. In fact, I'd be good if we can trap the villagers. Here we go. If we can trap them, that's perfect. And you know what? I'll give them a little bit of light, but that should hopefully keep them mostly safe. Now, do you have the second villager that was here? Did he get killed? Oh no. Oh no. It looks like he did get killed. That's my bad. But in that case, I think I'll be able to transport a villager with a boat. So we'll just do that. What do we got going on over here, by the way? Did we get an achievement Hi. for finishing this? Because uh, he needs oak signs now. Okay, we'll get you those. Bam, six oak signs. Okay, looks like he's still working on it, but we're almost done here, which is pretty cool. Okay, here we go. We're gonna light the area up properly. Well, I can try to go and hunt for some blaze powder. It's definitely not ideal, but I don't have any other greater idea. I mean, unless we wanna fully set up the spawner for blazes and creepers, which we could do, but that'll take some time. And uh, I'm definitely not against using our spawner for other things. It's just, I don't wanna do that yet, or I don't wanna do it if we don't have to. So let's try to head into the nether and get some blaze powder that way. Here we go, cardboard box. Um, okay, fine, you know what, let's pick that up. Up then let's head back so now that we have a blaze spawner here's what i can do we're gonna grab sugar cane turn that into i mean all of it into sugar i guess then we're gonna head on down and we can go into our mine shaft area i guess and then what we can do is quickly clear out a little area there we go that's a little area we'll block this off for now so if I close this off and then put this here, how do I open this? Oh, there we go. Shift clicked in. All right. And then if I put sugar on this, that should speed it up, but we need to change the max spawn delay as well. Oh, and there we go. Loot pinata. It just gave me 43 blaze rods. You see that? That's crazy. Okay. So a clock reduces the maximum spawn delay. Let's do that really quickly. Clock. There's one. We might need some more. One, no, 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 bop, 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 eight. Okay, here we go. Bam, 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 web, bam. Oh, that barely did anything. Okay, we need more. Okay, I don't think I get these back when I 
move the spawner? Maybe I do actually. So in that case, this won't even be going to waste necessarily. Let's just boom, boom, boom. Wow, that barely works on it. I have a bunch of blaze powder, but I might still need more. Okay, hold on. We need more clocks. Okay, there we go. I got 50 clocks. That's enough, right? Look at this. So the spawn delay is now going to go to 60, which means they should just keep spawning. Uh, or not. No, they're definitely spawning. Oh, they're definitely spawning. Yeah, they're coming. Oh, would you look at that? The university has been completed. Okay, that might be enough for now. Uh, I'm afraid to pack this up with the blazes nearby, but we will do it. These lollipops have interesting effects on them. All the modium site. Wait, hold on. That's a... Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Guys, we're going... <laughs> we're going to the mining dimension. Oh, here we go, here we go. 140. Okay, we have 140 left. What if I just uncover them, huh? How about that? Yeah. This is a much better strategy. Okay, I think we ran out of it. Very well, then. We'll mine up the ones that we have uncovered. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. We got a good amount of all the modium. I got almost two stacks. Anyways, what can I do with all the modium, I wonder? Hold on. So diamond ring just requires one block of it. We can upgrade netherite to all the modium, which uh, might be good for our furnace. I wonder how fast that is. It must be pretty crazy. And we can also make armor, and it seems to be pretty good. Anyways, I am going to call that a very successful recovery in my trip. I like it. I'm now going to vein mine upwards. Okay, we'll put all that away. Um, we got the blaze rods we need. Now, what we need is the gunpowder. We could transform the one of the spawners into a creeper spawner for sure. Um, that would require us to go through some steps, but I guess let's do it. I think we need something called a swab. A yeah, mob swab. So we need these, and then we need chicken feed. Yes, so I think this is what we're trying to make. This one, here we go, GM chicken feed. So we need some type of seed, which is fine, but then we need a experience bucket. Okay, so what we can do is create an experience crystal, which is something we're going to need for the mob farm as well. And let's see, it needs some specific ingredients, huh? Okay, lime stained glass, we can do that easily. We just need to make black concrete powder. Here we go, boom. Nice, I already have the ingredients for that. Also, let's quickly check on what's going on over here because we've now built this amazing university and we should probably start building something new soon. What are I'll you up to? Are you? Do you have a profession? Job researcher. These skills are influenced by the worker's job. So we have a researcher now and we'll see if we have... We need to get on to building something else. And Hi. let's see. Shears to continue working. What are you trying to build now? Guard tower. Oh, okay. So let's get him the resources for the guard tower and shears as well. I'm not gonna lie, I'm most definitely causing mass deforestation around my house. That's just the thing that I'm doing. Okay, wood collected. Bam, 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 bam. And just need oak ladders. Bam. Okay, that's done. And I forgot to give him shears. Here we go, my man. There we go. You got shears now. I uh, use this on a mob to collect DNA. And then, uh, right, we, we needed the experience thing. So experience crystal, was it? Yeah. And we just need lime stained glass. And bam. Now we can make the experience crystal. So with this, uh, from what I understand, we just can insert experience into it. Yeah, like store 10 levels start one level so that's great creepus creepus it's night time here we go here's a cave oh. far from perfect acquired a flawed gem whoa i just got 21 gems because i got a loot pinata drop when i defeated that zombie oh cave spider spawner nobody likes you cave spiders oh wait i just realized i have creeper eggs why am i looking for creepers then oh my god i have nine creeper eggs. Okay, so that's good. And then we will take one of our cardboard boxes and we shall do what needs getting done. I guess let's go to our same little spot. We should be able to do that. There we go. And then right click, boom. Now it's creepers. And again, we want to do the same thing where we make it spawn way quicker. Boom, 59 clocks. Oh yeah, guard tower is almost done here. Still going for it. Oh, there we go. He has built it. And I got the achievement defense is the best defense. Awesome. Who is our guarded? This fellow is our guarded. He wants a sword. A living rock sword. Interesting. But anyways, we'll get him that in a bit. Ooh, 
and our fella has started to work on the second guard tower. That's good, but I'm too lazy to supply him with the resources for a little bit. Okay, let's speed this up, hopefully. Bam, and then we spam it with the clocks which even that wasn't enough to fully get it down, but that's fine. And it seems like they're not uh, spawning very efficiently here. I don't know, maybe I'll clear out a little bit more room. Might have a little bit more luck. Here we go. Yeah, we should be good to go. I think I've gotten enough. Oh, that could have blown up the cardboard. So let's grab that and let's head on out of here. And I'm also going to get our second guard tower started. Bam. Now this guy needs Hi. a shovel. Here we go. Here's a shovel for you and also an extra pickaxe. Bam. I hope that actually Hi. works as a sword. Please. Yes, it Hi. does. Lee F. Martel. Sir, you're looking cool. And then what can we do over here in our university, I wonder? Okay, now where's the main block for... Oh, here it is. Okay. Research. Oh, we can research something. Uh, Let's research technology. Whoa. Hold on. What... What is that? What is that? That's not technology. That's farming. Excuse me. Okay, we can't do any of that stuff yet. Let's see. Combat. Okay, we can do this. Guards need 500% less sleep. Requirements, 16 iron ingots. Let's bring those over. And I'm pretty sure we need to build a house soon so more people can sleep in our village. That'll keep them more happy. Now, there's a few things we need to do. We have this experience crystal. And so if I go like this and then do store one level, I'm wondering if... Yes, essence bucket. I hope that's what we need. Now I should be able to do swab and we want to swab because we want a chicken spawner, right? So do, do, do. there we go, swab, I swabbed it. Nice. And then let's see here. I believe we just get a seed of any type plus swab plus that. And then we have GM chicken feed. Okay. And then if we go up to a uh, chicken again, pretty sure we just feed it with this. Boom, it explodes. And there we go. We got a whole sound effect. We got ourselves a uh, chicken spawning now. Awesome. So that's that. Very nice. We can now make the glass that we wanted to as well because we got all the materials for that, I believe. We want to make a bunch of fire charges. And a uh, second guard tower has been built, it looks like, which is awesome. Lumium. We want a bunch of this, right? Boom, 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 boom. And then we want hardened glass. Okay, so I need same and quartz and obsidian. I forgot about those. We might already have enough quartz actually. So mainly we just need obsidian. The knowledge of death has increased. Expert tasting. You tasted all the Halloween lollipops. Oh, my backpack has been eating them by accident. Emptiness. That's a weird effect. It kind of scares me. Anyways. Okay. Let's head in the nether, I believe. I think we can find like huge obsidian pillars likely. Here we go. I already see what we need. Let me equip one of our better pickaxes maybe. Here we go. And that's a whole stack of obsidian just like that. Wow. Well, that's like six stacks of obsidian just like that. With quartz, I already have some, but I might have transformed too much into blocks. So I'll quickly mine some more quartz up. I think we're basically good on materials. The last thing I need to collect is the sand. Got red sand here. I mean, I'll take that, I guess. All right, that's a quick five stacks. So now we can make hardened glass. Okay, there's six stacks of that. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. That should be more than enough. Anyways, we can now continue our build here. And we need to go 11 high in total. Okay, we'll just repeat that. That's the pillars done. And then we can add this glass. So lumium glass, cool. Oh my God, wait, I just realized something. It lights the area up. I really hope that doesn't stop the spawner from spawning. Why did I not think of this? I figured it would light the area, okay. We'll have to see. It's possible since these are manually controlled spawners. And as you'll see later, we're gonna have to redstone activate them. It might actually be okay. I'm hoping for the best at this point. Oh, this is hard to break too. That's cool. So this is very powerful glass. I like that. And 
bam. Theoretically, that's everything filled in. Oh, other than the ceiling. I wonder actually if we want to do something different for the ceiling because right now it's just kind of one blob of lightness. I'm having the idea to use like literally gold to do this because you can literally turn gold into whatever you want in this pack. I'd like to try that. Now, hold on, I'm wondering. Raw gold bricks, gold. Okay, yeah, so this is expensive, but it's nothing we can't do. Well, then let's go mining. Okay, our gold hunting begins. Aha, good start, good start. How many stack? Two stacks of gold from one vein. Very nice. <laughs> wow, a lot of gold, holy moly. Oh yeah. Yeah, when you vein mine, you lose a lot of hunger really quickly. And it seems that steak is not gonna hold us off for very well. I've already used four. It's literally like not even been a minute. So yeah. Whoa, holy moly. Look how much all the modium I just found. Oh, that's uranium as well. Okay, another whole inventory of raw gold. That should be good enough for now. Oh, and my JPEG's just about out, but I'm going to make a run for it. And perfect, we made it with like a second of fuel left. Okay, boom, blocks of raw gold. We got four stacks. I'm probably leaving half a stack just in case we need more gold. And let's see what we can do with this. Actually, I think we need to use, ooh, what do we need to use? Okay, we have to transform this into gold bricks like this, bam. And then we can put gold bricks into here and we can make some stairs and also slabs, boom. <gasps> oh, oh my God. I'm surprised that that didn't pop a totem. Wow, I survived at half a heart. You cannot be forgetting that your jetpack is out of energy. That's a rookie mistake number one. Number zero, literally, oh my goodness. Charge that up. I was looking through the blocks that we have and I found this stuff called limestone. I'm actually really liking the look of this. I think it'll really fit our kind of alien-ish type of theme that we've got going on. I like it. Okay, while I'm waiting for my jetpack, actually, let me quickly head to our mine colony and see what's going on here. So this guy wants boots, helmet. Okay. I'm guessing we can only give him leather gear right now, so we'll need to find that. Oh, and I forgot to bring 16 iron ingots over here. Oh boy, so many okay. things to manage. I do know that my fellas wanted a house. Let's see what options there are there are so many things or residence possibly residence might be the thing we want to build yeah let's try that so boom residence okay i'm gonna need to plan out how we want to do that so i will have to give that a moment because uh, i think we're gonna need to kind of have like a general living area and then we'll need to like set up protection around it with more guard towers or something like that in the meantime though we got our jetpack done and we sleepy off the night so let's have some fun and try to to build out this roof as we'd like to. What we might even be able to do is cover this like so with the limestone block that we got. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this, but I'm just testing it. We will fill this in. I'm still skeptical about this. I'm not gonna lie to you. It, it is looking a bit strange, but I wanna see how it looks when we put the gold in as well, because that's what's gonna make that difference. Also, I'm just realizing we need an entrance for this thing. Oh, we can just have a little side entrance. Why not? Why not? Bam, bam. Okay, and then we'll replace the flooring here. I don't know how the vein mining will work here. Ooh, okay, not bad. Boom, that did what I wanted it to. Okay, and then we will fill this in with this chiseled block variant. We might end up covering the floor with conveyor belt type things, but for now, you know what? I'll just stick with it. Okay, and now we want to place the gold. With the gold, what we can do is do a border like this, kind of an embroidery, if you will. Maybe we keep that as it is, and then we embellish the bottom with the stairs. So we'll just go through like so. How's that looking so far? Not bad, actually. That kind of works. That kind of works. I think we might want to add some additional details around the spawner or even on the spawner. But as a foundation, I'm liking that. And you know what? That's pretty good for a build by my standard because you can't really expect that much from me. 
Okay, well, bam. I do think that this is a good block choice because it melds the dark and the white really well and kind of finds a common uh, blend in between the two. Okay, very cool. So with that done, I'm gonna leave it alone for a second just so that we can get caught up on our mine colony stuff. So we need a residential kind of area for our folks. One of the safer areas is probably gonna be this pocket of land here, just because I already have one guard tower. We have our base here and I can add another guard tower. Oh, there's also levels for residences. Look at that. I mean, I might wanna right just go for a level five right away because why not? It'll save us a lot of space in the end. So if I'm actually able to do that, I'd be happy to. Figure we can go this way. Yeah, maybe we could place homes like this side by side. I don't know, guys, okay? I'm doing my best. It's it's just improv. Like, I don't know. I'm not a contractor. And then we can stack them up. I think that's acceptable. Now, what's not acceptable is the fact that this is not facing the right way at all. There we go. Now it is. Okay, we'll place that there. Now, one thing I do need to fix is our area around it. We need to even it out. Fortunately, using the mine, that is a lot easier. <laughs> Okay, I cleared out a good chunk here. Ah, but I need to try to make this look a little bit nicer, which I'm doing by adding more of these polished blocks. Okay, something like that. And I want to find out a way to make this mob farm seem a bit more grand than it actually is. So hopefully I can think something up for that. Anyways, where were we? Yes. Now we need the materials for this. So build options and build building. Okie dokie. So we'll have a builder come over here. So look, we got the design for the mob farm mostly sorted out. And now we need to sort out the actual mob farm mechanics themselves. So probably going to have an overhang like this. We also need to add the conveyor belts I was talking about. Okay, let's see. These are called entity conveyors. Aha. And these are pretty cheap. The main problem is slime, but I'm guessing we have a lot. Let's see. Mm, 49. That might be enough. Okay, I got 64. You know, that works too. And then we are going to fill these in. Yeah. So we got these coming this way. Boom. And you know what? These look pretty good with what we've got going on. Ooh, very cool, very cool, okay. Oh, and uh, in the tutorial, we would technically not want this to be so high up. I don't know. I wonder if this will mess with the spawner. Well, instead of breaking what we have, I'd rather do something that's a little bit easier, which is just filling that space in, I think. Yeah, in which case, maybe I can just use the glass. Okay, so hypothetically that's filled in. Now the next step would be putting the spawner in. Here we go, chicken egg. And I also know we can turn the spawner off by using a redstone comparator. And we'll need to use redstone comparators on this anyways. So I'll get that. So let's see what's gonna happen here. Here's what we're gonna do. Gonna put this down, boom, and then boom. Whack it, adding a switch, perfect. And then boom, we made it into a chicken spawner. So we have to make something called a redstone link. Hold on, I need to make a brass casing. Oh no, okay, how do we make brass? Brass dust, okay, this is possible. We can do it, that's good. Zinc, we have zinc, that's perfect. And copper, we have copper, perfect. We need to make one of the hammers that will help us break things. Boom, iron hammer, and we just go bam. Bam, boom, brass, dust. We got a stack. That's definitely enough. We can smelt that up very quickly in our netherite furnace, which you know what? Maybe we should just upgrade it to all the modium right now. I mean, we've gotten so much all the modium. We might as well put it to some use. So we'll start smelting that up. And then how would we do it? Uh, let's see, netherite, da -da 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 -da. okay. Pretty, pretty simple. We just need one piece of netherite scrap. I hope we have that, come on. One netherite scrap. Oh, wow, I have 26. Boom, make some blocks and boom. Netherite to all the modium. All the modium furnace. Okay, I'm actually very curious. Oh my God, holy moly. Did you see that? It's hard to even see because of how fast it goes. Look at that. I did not realize it was going to go that fast. This is single-handedly the most overpowered furnace I've ever seen in my whole life. And if 
we quickly smelt this up, we should just have to, I think, strip it and then bam. Yeah. So I'll do this to a few blocks here. I don't think we need that many, right? I kind of like this as a building block, if I'm honest with you. It looks pretty cool. There we go. 24 of those. And to finish things off, we just need redstone torches, which I'll make a stack of. Bam. Yeah, redstone links. Oh, that's way more than enough. I don't know what made me make 10. Uh, we do also need the wrench from create mod. Okay, we need gold plates. There we go. Gold in there. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Made some of those. And I need a cogwheel. Boom. And bam. Wrench. Perfecto. We've made one. Now what I should be doing, I believe, is putting that on. And then you use the wrench to set it to receive mode. Yeah. Okay. And then we place another one here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And then we need a lever to power it, I think. Can you make any cooler levers in this pack? Because that would be great. Look at that. You can. Sconce lever. Whoa. Whoa, that's actually cool. Let me just see if this is what I really think it is right now. Make a sconce. I know I don't know what a sconce is. I've never even heard of this thing. But now we'll see if it's like a fake torch. As if it is. <gasps> Are you kidding me? That's great. Okay, well, theoretically, that should have activated it. Hold on, look. It looks activated. Boom, if I... Oh, it's working. Now we want to make a backpack because that's going to help us with our storage. And... Whoa, infinity backpack. Are you kidding me? What are you talking about? We can make like a netherite backpack. Pack, which we should be able to manage the do. Okay, backpack. Then we want to make iron backpack, gold backpack, diamond backpack. And finally, for netherite backpack, we're going to need to pull it out. I have a netherite ingot. And we'll just do this. Bam. That's a better backpack than I have on, but too lazy to change my backpack. So yeah, I'm going to put our backpack here and then we need to get multiple upgrades for it. So the first one is an advanced magnet upgrade that's uh, gonna magnetize items to this thing and seems simple enough which i like pickup upgrade oh boy sticky piston oh boy piston okay make a piston then we make a sticky piston Vans magnet upgrade. There we go. That's the first thing. Then we need a tank upgrade. And this is going to be used for collecting experience, which is good because that means we're just going to get infinite experience from our farm as well. Oh my God, there's so many. Okay, then we need the advanced avoid upgrade. And this is uh, going to help us with managing the loot so it's not sitting and lagging the game it'll void out anything we don't want oh am i out of ender pearls oh could you are you kidding me oh i do have nebulous hearts though that works too okay so there we go void upgrade and then we do the advanced void upgrade okay finally we just need the stack upgrade uh, and there's tiers to this oh wow that's pretty expensive but i will make a few of these unless we just run out of materials right off the bat then we won't looks like we're out of ring yeah i'd really benefit from having a multi-mob spawner wouldn't i i'm kind of questioning what we're gonna do with the chicken theme because i mean there's so many more uses for this either i can do a replicated version and have all the mobs in there or we can just have all the mobs we want in this one specifically i think that's gonna be the better option in the meantime though i can just hunt some mobs if i'd like that'll make things a little bit easier okay 10 string all good and boom one more upgrade base and now we want to make these stack upgrades boom i made three of those and we'll access this we'll put in all of these upgrades and we do actually need to set some of these up it's actually only the void one that we need to deal with here and we need to do works in GUI as well, void overflow, and block, I believe. We need a universal pipe. Oh, this is harder to make than I thought it would be. But its benefit is that it can literally transfer anything. So if we want to expand the storage and make it really be able to store a crazy amount of items with drawers and stuff, we'll be able to do that. So I think it's worth making this now. Fluid pipe, one of those. Energy, one of those and we need droppers boom item pipe and boom universal pipe perfect and then we also need pipe wrench bam so if we go boop and break this and go boop and then we need to make sure this uh -huh, is taking out from there that should be able to put in experience i believe we'll test that out further as we 
turn this on. So uh, we wanna apply upgrades to the spawner. There's a few different ones we can do. There's actually quite a few. There's the ones that we did. So there's clocks and sugar. That's what we need. Boom, stack of clocks and sugar. Sugar cane, we're gonna need some more of. Here we go, a bunch more sugar cane. Wow, there's a lot of sugar cane here, holy moly. Okay, so I've got sugar cane. We also are gonna want to get quartz and blaze rods. We also need fermented spider eyes and gas tears because that's gonna let us increase the amount of mobs that actually spawn every single tick. So I need brown mushrooms for the fermented spider eyes. Everything else I mostly have and then I need gas tears, which, uh, let's see, how many do I have of those? Four. Yeah, so let's quickly head in the nether and get both brown mushrooms and gas tears. And we might actually be able to bone meal the brown mushrooms. I don't remember exactly if that's how it works. I, th I think it might be. So that's good. We just need the gas tears, really. Here we go. First gas. Thank you. That's a good amount of gas tears. I got three from that, which is good. My concern is that I'm running out of jetpack fuel here. So that's what's going to make me return. I'm going to quickly charge this up again before I head in to search for more gas tears. Although it's possible that this will be enough for now. In fact, I should check that before we do any anything else and fermented spider eyes boom i made a good amount of those as well okay so theoretically we have everything we need actually and we want to go spam sugar here we go then we want to spam the clocks and even a stack of clocks isn't even enough okay i need to work on that and then can use gas tears that's close to the max amount and that's probably enough on those fronts actually so the only thing we really need is just uh, some more clocks and then also there's one more thing we need to do because apparently we could have made this spawner bigger but in order to reduce the spawn range there we go we right click it with quartz in our offhand and blaze in our front hand and then that makes the spawn range only three blocks now i'm wondering is there such thing as a quartz store no is there something that could match our theme well that's what my question would be this bamboo door might work actually that would be pretty cool in that case we are gonna need to find bamboo well let's make some more clocks holy moly man these are expensive okay here we go that should be enough for that get the upgrades and yeah okay so let's quickly try to find bamboo do i have any jungles specifically mark doesn't look like i do but i can try to teleport to a couple of places go here is jungle it seems we can create temp waypoint and it looks like cry mirid is the closest aha now is there bamboo here yes there is there's a lot of bamboo look at that oh my god Oh my god, I just broke so much in one hit. That's pretty crazy. Okay, I'd say that's enough bamboo. So it was bamboo and then paper, paper. Uh-huh. Let's see how this looks. This is a pretty random matchup. Yep. Ooh, that kind of fits. Fits pretty well, actually. Very nice. No, I do want to place it like that. There we go. Whoa. Oh, it slides? <gasps> oh, that's cool. I see. I'm gonna quickly fill these things up and we want to split it between nine. So we'll do that. And then we just go up, up, up to all of them. There we go. That's the sharpness filled in. And then we'll do the same with looting. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am a little bit scared, but we're gonna see right now. So moment of truth, theoretically, that should switch it on. And oh no, is the glass gonna affect it? Oh no, I think the glass affects it. No. No, 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 no. I did not mess that up, did I? It's possible there's a modifier with the soul lantern that lets you ignore light. Oh, how amazing that would be. Here we go. I have one soul lantern. It's a sign. Please. <gasps> oh, I think, it, I think it worked. Okay. Make your spawner work in any light level. Theoretically, that should work, but it's not working, is it? It's not working. Hold on. Maybe reset it. No, nope. It's not working. It's an extremely sad day today. So it seems like this just, it's not going to work. Well, in that case, let's try making tinted glass instead. I need amethyst for that, which I guess we can just find by caving real quick. Okay, here we go. Amethyst cluster. I'm wondering if there's any easy way to transform this into amethyst shards. We have crushing, which I guess we can do. It just takes a while. 
And then there's deploying, which I would have thought means that we can do this manually, but I don't think we can. Yeah, this is not going to be easy. Alrighty. So we need to make a crusher. Let's see. What is it called exactly? Crushing. Crushing wheel. Crushing wheel. Okay. There's no way I'm doing all that for one piece of glass. Okay. There must be some other type of glass that we can use for this. I mean, I'm not able to find any other glass variants right now. Okay. Let's see if just normal glass works. And I'm going to silk touch all of this stuff here hopefully with this pickaxe or we're just gonna lose all of our hard work oh okay i actually can't self touch it that's a big plus at least okay so i've taken out all the glass still not spawning anything though which is a bit concerning it is possible that i've done something wrong what if we just fill this in with quartz fully no glass just quartz Oh boy, we already got mobs spawning on top. Here's what we'll try. We'll do this and we'll fill this in. Still not spawning. This is not promising at all. I think our issue may be with something else and not the glass. Okay, boom. So it's fully filled in. I mean, technically, this should definitely be working as we need it to. So the question is, why is it not working as we need it to? Guys, it can't be this simple. No. So apparently, it might be because there's no grass here. In which case, I don't know what I'm going to say and I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh my goodness. Is that really why? Okay, let's go get grass. Okay, I got grass. In fact, I got way too much. I got a little bit carried away, but let's see. Okay, I got grass here, and maybe I have to move the spawner too. Let's try that. Okay, let's just place the spawner right here. Will it work now? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it's working. Are you kidding me? Okay, disappointing, but also I'm glad that it's working. Let's see if these mob fans can do what we need them to. Preferably, we'd want to move this, but we'll figure that out in a moment. And are these redstone activated? Because it's not working now. First of all, I want to move that. Second of all, we'd probably want these to be on the walls here and then have redstone torches under them. So let's see if that's actually going to work. Boom. No, it's not working. Okay. Let's get a lever and let's test if that does anything. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, yep. That does something. Okay. So we need levers. I see. Let's make more than a few. Okay. And let's go test this out. I guess what we'll do is we'd have this going like that. And then we want one center fan here. And then again, fans on the sides here. And then and we'll place these everywhere, activate them. Let's see how I can place this spawner. Maybe I can place it there. Does that work? And preferably, I would like to not have to have it taking up our area. You know what? We'll put this under like so. And boom, that's on now, which is good. And then we will fill this in. Theoretically, that's all working. Now, we put these all here. No, it's not working. Okay, maybe we need to upgrade the range on that one. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. This is, so, oh, they're so powerful. Holy moly. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Such a nightmare. So, we want the upgrade to be put on there. So, here, mob and width upgrade. We'll do maybe three of those, and then we'll do distance upgrade, and we'll do three of those as well. Here we go. I'm hearing a bunch of dying noises, which is actually a good thing in this case. Yeah. Okay, good. It's working. It's actually working. Now, bad news is we need to change this because I want to put the glass back in. I think it should work, but we can deactivate it luckily. So we'll do that. We're going to build these back up. See, we turn this on and there's definitely way too many chickens that have spawned on the sides because that is not oh okay more chickens are spawning yeah i mean it's pretty overpowered though because if we look at this i mean look we already got so much chicken and feathers like it, i don't even know what to say yeah so i mean we're definitely good on chicken okay well i mean that's what we've made and we'll stick with it for now next we need to create the farms for crops but uh, before we do that i'm gonna 
gonna take a little break because, ooh, this one was frustrating. So instead, let's look into mine colonies a bit more. Hello, yeah, so we're building the house. Let's get everything we need for that. I need a red bed, for which I need red dye. So I'm gonna go out and get some flowers. Okay, and oh, I guess I might need more wool actually, which is not good news at all. I guess I'll go out and shear some sheep. Okay, 26 wool should be enough for now. And oop, I just turned all my wool into red wool by accident. Ah, I did not mean to do that. Okay, well, at least we got our red bed. How about that? Here you go. Oak planks panel. There we go. I think that's what we needed. And yes, it was. Bam. So I'm wondering if I can actually build a second one as that one's building. We're mass producing living space here. So residence, level five. And these are just going to go side by side like so. And you know what? I should place a third. For symmetry's sake, we need a third. It'll look better, trust me. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna go with that. Might have been a mistake, but I'm sticking with it. Now, we also need to upgrade our builder's hut, I figure. And that's another thing we'll get built soon. Okay, so Tucker's going to work. We'll leave him at it for a bit, and we'll check in every now and then. So chicken soup, cabbage, carrots. Do I have any cabbage? Oh, yes. Okay, I have cabbage seeds, and I also think we'll be able to get a whole whole lot of bones, like an infinite amount. So that means we'll have an infinite amount of bone meal. Yeah, but since we have basically an infinite amount of bone meal, it would be great if we could figure out a way to put that to use. The first residence just got built. Let us check it out. Oh, it only built the level one version. Fair enough, fair enough. Or maybe a higher level than level one, but not level five, is it now? So that's nice. We got one home. We're working on that. Uh, now it looks like he's working on upgrading the builder's hut, which I would hope that uh, we can get more builders. That's kind of why I want to upgrade it. And we need another list of supplies. I do know that using create, you can, and use something called like mechanical harvesters. And if we take a look, as you'll see, these can rotate around and break crops like that. And it'll just continue spinning in circles and then it'll drop it off at a chest for you. My only issue is that, well, I mean, I want things growing a lot faster than having to wait for normal wait times, but I don't know how to bone meal or grow our crops quickly otherwise. Okay, I've been doing some research. Yes, me, I've been doing research and I think I might have found a way to create an automatic farm that does everything for us. And that would include using a harvest rod, which can fertilize crops with bone meal. And we're gonna be able to get a lot of bone meal if we add a skeleton spawner here. And then on top of that, we would use a pedestal to put this onto, bam, one of these, I think. And then we can use the create mod to actually auto harvest everything. I'm trying to figure out where I actually want to put this. Now, first things, First, I think we should remove this over here. It's not a part of the vibe. Bam, pick that up, boom. Okay, so that's cleared out, that's nice. We'll put that somewhere else in a bit. And then I think it would be nice if we had little pathways made out of quartz. Maybe we can use bricks, some smooth quartz, and blocks of quartz. Maybe a mix of these three for our little pathways. So we'd kind of break this out. And I'm trying to add a little bit of randomness to our path here so it doesn't just look like one straight line. I don't know if I'll end up regretting that, but I guess uh, I'm gonna find out. <laughs> So here we go. Our first path is gonna come right up to here. And now let's try filling this in. Okay, the verdict, um, no, 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 no. I definitely should have just made it a straight path. I made a big mistake. Okay, that actually looks way better, but we are gonna need to add some type of railing to it. But yes, at least it doesn't look terrible. That's good, that's good. I'm pretty sure there's like walls that we could use a like glowstone wall. Uh, let's see, there's probably gold walls. Oh, black gold lantern. Yeah, so there's a lot of options. What are we thinking, folks, out of the 
millions of blocks. <laughs> okay, not millions. That's a bit of an exaggeration. I feel like we shouldn't theme everything with gold. So I want to switch off of that theme. We could use limestone, for example. In fact, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Also, how are we doing over here? Got a, our guard is garden. Yeah, you want more armor. We'll get you armor. Oh, you're sleeping. I want to sleep. Why are you bothering me? You need cobblestone. Okay, man. Look, you're demanding buddy. All right. Looks like I need to supply these materials. I'm totally a great mine colony owner. What can I say? Yeah, let's get limestone. So I have some more limestone left, which I think think we can just put in here and we have walls. There's just the regular variant. I think the brick ones are going to look the best. So let's make a few stacks of those and let's line this up. Well, bam. Hmm. I don't know if we want this railing to be quite as strict as I'm making it out to be. I guess I'll leave it like that for now just because it seems to look the best. Okay. Okay, how do we feel? How do we feel about this right now? Hmm, I'm feeling a bit weird. I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit weird here. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, but I'm kind of disappointed with this right now. What can I say? The show must go on, so we should continue designing. I think this is the best direction to move into with what we've got. I do have one idea that can make this look a bit better, and that's adding some type of lighting other than torches on the sides here that fits our theme of our base and we could just go with glowstone that's an option but i wonder if there are any other types of lighting blocks that will look better like here shroom light lodestone that's pretty cool okay let's do two things let's go into the nether and into the end and see if we can find any lighting blocks to use i'll go into the end first i figure because there can be some pretty cool stuff that i forgot about there so here we go end portal oh Okay, that scared me for a second. Here we are. The not-so-beloved end, where I forgot we have these guys. Oh, and I've looked at an enemy. Gotcha. Oh, we dropped a shield. That's actually not bad. It's got some interesting perks on it. I don't know if it's better than my shield here. Actually, it might be. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's an enchantment called Phalanx 6 here that makes you move faster when using a shield, and it literally makes me move faster than my sprinting speed. Boom. Let's head in. So let's see. We have like these purplish types of lighting blocks. We got a bunch of therium crystals here. Hello, ship. Meet again. Free elytra. Why not? Also, let me do a check up on the loot here. I wonder if it's gotten any better since the updates that have happened in this game. Whoa, flawless gem of a combatant. Plus 40% arrow damage. Physical damage taken is reduced by 22.5%. That's interesting. That's a good gem. Look at this. There's a ruined nether portal in here. The useless portal. Find an end themed ruined portal. Comes with a chest. A lot of gold in it, actually. Golden apples, why not? Well, while I think there are some interesting options in the end here, I don't think it's anything that I really want to use. And here we go, a portal has spawned for us. So I'm just going to put it in there. Okay, let's uh, head into the nether. And I'm thinking we'll just collect a bunch of shroom lights. Let's go. And boom, right away, here we are. Here we go. Also, I have the teleportation enchantment on this, which means I can teleport. <laughs> Yeah, that's a couple of stacks of shroom lights. That's enough for now. Let's go see how this will look in our base. So here we go. Botanist workbench. And bam. Here we go. Now we have a bunch of options for what we can do. And there are a lot of different looks we can use. So I'm going to play around with this and select a few different ones. Okay. I think that's a good amount of options. Let's go down here and check this out. But is there anyone out of these that we like the most? These ones look pretty, pretty cool. Cool. These do too. My favorite might be this one. Yep, that's the one I'm gonna go with. Framed Shroom Light Lantern. Here we go. I'm gonna try to place these every fifth block or so away from each other. Okay, and I've ran out, but I've made really, really good progress. I'm just about done here, and look at that. I think it's looking pretty, pretty cool, and it's much more refined looking than before, because before we just had this chunk of land that we automatically transformed into black, but it didn't really have anything else, and now it's got some design to it, so it's kind of fitting in more. So I'm gonna head in to the nether, get more shroom lights, because we're gonna need this for our whole build either way, and uh, then we'll get to doing some mine 
colony stuff. Oh, I never checked if I have shroom lights in my chest, did I? Hold on. Oh, well, I have a stack. I guess I'll use that to finish off what we are doing. Okay, that should be all done. I'm gonna remove all of the torches now. Now, a mine colony, mine colony. Birch, cobble, oak, spruce. Okay, spruce, wool, oak. Oh, sticks. Well, bam. <laughs> bam. Bam. All right. He's getting to work already, and we are all done. So, yeah, it looks like he's building out the builder's hut now. Also, I did want to bring iron to the research center, right? So let's do that. Hello. Here it is. And then what was it? Combat. Boom. Accuracy. So we've started to investigate that. Perfect. Let's get some leather armor for our workers. And I have a good amount of leather. But you know what? I do think we should spend some time to just make some basic animal farms because I'm finding that I sometimes need wool. Sometimes I need leather. And I don't have any of these things naturally. So here we go. Full set of armor for this guy. Here we go. Let's see if he actually equips that or not. Well, he's happy. I guess it just doesn't show it on his body. There we go. Oh, and then we have our second guard here, Healy. I'm okay. guessing she needs stuff too. She needs a bow, so we're gonna get her that, and then she'll probably need armor as well. Boom, full armor. Let's see if she ends up being happy with all the stuff we give her here. Okay. There we go. Yeah, okay. she's happy. Oh, hold on. Oh, it looks like uh, the builder's hut has been completed. So never mind. Hold on. I'm going to do some more stuff here. Does that mean we can start building another house? Build options. Build building. Boom. So pick up requested, and that means we should be able to build something. Oh, he has a quest Hi. or something? Hey there. Can I ask you for a favor? I lost my glasses the other day, and I can't see very well without them. Do you think you could get me a new pair of builder's goggles? Oh, so he's upgrading, and now he's asking for specific things. That's pretty cool. I will definitely get you the builder's goggles, sir. Yes, here you are. Boom. So we gave him the goggles. Ah, you found my glasses. Thank you so much. I can finally see clearly what I'm building again. You should try them out sometime. They're pretty neat. You're welcome. Okay, cool. So that's a quest done. And I'm actually wondering if it's hinting towards the fact that I should use them. Yeah, look at that. Blueprint previews enabled. So let's make ourselves a pair as well. Never mind. He gave us back the pair that we made. So that's the whole point of it. Let's test these out. Hello. Ooh, okay. So it shows the blueprint of what the builder is currently working on. Okay, so two things on our agenda in terms of the base is getting the farm set up and getting getting animal farms. I guess we'll do the crop farm first because I've been wanting to do that for a while now. So I believe we need something called mechanical harvesters. Yeah, these things, right. And as we can see, I'm already having issues with the materials because they are very specific. Okay, so we'll make a stack of those. And then we need iron plates. I'll make a stack of those. And then I should be good to make more of these. Oh, I need andesite casings. Okay. I need logs and I need andesite alloy. So we'll do the usual with these. You just strip them, you right click them with andesite alloy, and then you vein mine it. Okay, six. I think that's what I need, but I'm gonna need to look into a guide again on how to set this whole thing up. Ooh, and our machine stopped producing what we needed to. So uh, yeah, we need more melons growing. Okay, good thing that we have a lot of fortune and vein miner. Yeah, a whole row of melons from that. That's pretty good. There we go. Okay, let's do a little bit more swamp adventuring. I really would like to find a swamp, please. Okay, I mean, I found some kind of a swamp here. It's not exactly what I've been looking for. I don't even know what this biome is called. Cypress Swamplands region. Yeah, so I don't know if... Well, there's a crocodile, but I don't know if slimes can spawn here. Oh, I made a mistake by not staying in that swamp, I think. Okay, let's see, we also need to make a radial chassis. Bam. Okay, we need portable storage interface, and I think we need two of these. So we need to make shoots, bam, and bam. Okay, we also need a mechanical chassis, I believe. Oh no, a mechanical bearing. Here, we need one of these, so boom. Well, now we can actually start setting up the farm itself. So let's grab dirt, buckets for water, and the seeds that we want. So we want cabbage, and what else did we need to grow? Let's see here. Carrots. Okay. Perfecto. So we should probably extend our land out this way and we'll build this farm somewhere over in the vicinity of this. I'd like to extend our pathway first of all. Let's 
clear it out. There we go, we'll fill this in. Bam, I barely had enough quartz. Man, this is not very even. No worries. I need to fix this up, but I'm also gonna need more quartz. Look at this little piglin fortress. And I'm robbing them of their gems. Plus eight fire damage to a weapon. Whoa, plus 62% fire damage. That's some pretty cool stuff here, actually. I'd say we've gotten more than enough quartz for now. So I'll head back home. We will put all of these stacks into our crafter. And here come the stacks of quartz. I reckon I also need a limestone. And I don't know exactly where we got it from before. Do we kind of need to go out and collect some? Yeah, I mean, I have 39 here. That'll last us for a bit. Let's see, how do we make this even? Oh no. Yep, there we go. We're out of limestone. But how's that looking? Looking pretty good. Let's go get some more. I literally have no idea. I hope it's possible that we found it underground somewhere. Oh, is that limestone? Yes, it is. Oh, perfect. Yeah, just like with soapstone, we can find this quite easily. Okay, that'll be enough limestone for now. How are we doing over here, by the way? We need to supply the materials for the residents. I'll quickly do that. Put in all the resources. Simple enough. And our builder should be good to go go. I can make the walls we wanted, and we'll just fill that in. Here we go. I think that's looking pretty nice. Oh yeah, looking good in the nighttime. What I'm gonna do is grab polished soapstone. Yep, because we are gonna extend this a little bit more. The only bad thing I think there is is that we're not blending too well into this village. We need to figure out a way to blend in. Maybe we'll just fully take over the village with the same soapstone material and turn it into our own type of village. Maybe I should do that. Oh, I didn't mean to build up. Oh no, look what I accidentally did. Oh my God. In that case, we need to remove that. Okay, we're gonna build the structure over here. I wanna have like a circular build for it. So I'm gonna need to outline it right now. And moment of truth, is that even? all across the board. It looks like it actually is, which is a good sign. So that's the base that we're actually gonna put the farm on. Now I'm still trying to see if we can do a second layer of this and have our bone meal ideas still work. I don't know if it actually will. Okay, well let's complete this layer and then I'll try to make a second layer. Okay, let's see. So we wanna put magma block, encased fan, and then Bam, lever. Oh, and hold on, we actually wanna flip this. Yeah, so we wanna place it like so. Boom, mechanical bearing, radial chassis, and then we need a slime ball, which will make it stick. Ooh, and I am still working on this, don't worry, but our residence just got built, residence number two. Let's quickly get the materials for this third one. So, build options, build building, boom. <laughs> That should be all the materials, meaning we are good to go with building our third residence. Thank you very much. Folks, you won't believe it. I just read something really important. You can build a second builder's hut and then you can have two builders. So we are definitely gonna be doing that. Let's see where we wanna place this one. We have our first one here. I mean, I'd probably place it right next to it. Fundamentals. Builder's hut, and I don't know how close we can build it. Maybe we can actually build it right next to it. Yeah, we can. I think we should maybe keep it on the same level as this other one. So we'll place it right there. Boom, build building, build request created, perfect. Okay, we'll let the residents finish, then we'll get that second builder's hut done, and then from there, we can start building two buildings at a time. How beautiful is that? Oh, and that breaks the lever, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, we need to place slabs, I see. We should just go boom, on, and then slab, I think, and water, and that hopefully has prevented any damage, right? Yes, so everything's still down there, which is perfect. Yeah, there we go, cool, cool. Let's see, what do we do next? We want to stick on some blocks, and then we wanna get the mechanical harvesters on there, I believe. So one, two, three, four, five, that's all we need. Now, the only thing I'm concerned with about our farm here is the storage, because I'm not sure exactly how well we'll do with that, but we can test this contraption out. First of all, let me actually get some more cabbage seeds. Perfecto, just like this. 
Okay, and we're gonna just hoe the ground here. And I wonder if fortune works on this. Yeah, it probably does. So let's bone meal these. I'm making this so much harder than it needs to be. And then boom, perfect. Oh yeah, okay. I'm planting this once and for all. I'll plant it down and all that's left is for us to activate it. The lever is here. Yeah. So boom. Ooh, that's not turning anything on though. I might have a fix and that is moving these to the other side of our harvesting contraption here. Let's see if that makes any difference. So do this, turn on. The radial chassis doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, I might have found another issue. A lot of issues. We need to make this six instead of eight. I don't know if that has any influence. No. Okay, could be with the chest. I didn't place this correctly. Let's put that there, for example. No, it's doing nothing. Okay, I'm back and I have refined my knowledge and skills because I've realized the issue is that the setup with the encased fan does not work in this version. So we need to set up a little water wheel and we'll make one of those. And if we set this up correctly, it should be very easy. We will place the water wheel like so. And then we just want to dig out a little bit and then we just go, we just do that and perfect. It's spinning. So what we're gonna do is try to do this all very quickly. Okay, boom. I'm gonna pause this for a second. Here we go. And then what we can do is put a slime ball here, attach this, boom, boom, perfecto. And then we should just be able to put that and water again. It's working, it's working, good. This part is basically done. Then we're gonna replant these parts quickly. There we go, looking good, looking good. Now we need to try to make that harvester rod and see if that works. So I need a guest here and a slime pearl. And these we get from slime. So we'll have to head into a swamp for that. There's also fertile essence, which we also need slime pearl for very well. And other than that, we have everything. Let's head to a swamp. Let's find a swamp. Swamp, I found a swamp, okay. Oh, why did I sleep off the night? Why did I do that? It was just nighttime and I slept it off, okay. While it comes nighttime once more. I'll go and work on our mine colonies for a bit. So we'll mark this as swamp and let's see what we need to get to over here. You need a shovel. Okay, so it seems like he's trying to dig out a bunch of area. So let's get him a shovel. Here we go, buddy. And oh yeah, that makes sense. He wants shovels because this is not what it should be. So yeah, let's fix this. Oh, there we go. He's going for it. There we go. Okay. And then let's check our research because I think our research was completed. So we have more. So civilian. Let's see. Stamina. Unlocks hospital. Unlocks library. Requires residences totaling at least three levels. And from a library, let's see what we can do. Max citizens plus 25. Okay. So we can up our citizens. I like it. We're progressing. Tucker's Hi. taking a lot of random pauses, yeah. which is concerning. He says there's can no guard you? towers near his home. Okay, so we'll have to build, I guess, a guard tower here. Now, in the meantime, I could set up the skeleton spawner because we want to be able to get infinite bones for bone meal. Do I have any skeleton spawn eggs? I do. So then we can take a cardboard box and then we'll need a few more things, right? Like a redstone link. Gonna want sugar. Oh yeah, I should keep our sugar cane farm growing. A little bit, a little bit scary to go in here. Oh, almost got me, didn't ya? Okay, uh, so we would do two blocks down like that. And let's see here, we wanna put that in. Skeleton, then we do comparator, so it's redstone control. Put a redstone link. Yeah, I need a trap door here. That'll make my life easier. I think that's actually a better entrance for us than a door. So I'm gonna remove the door, I think. I don't know, warped trap door? What do I wanna use? Gold trap door, there we go. There, I can open that, right? Yeah, perfect, okay. Okay, bam, let's go get the slimes and do what we wanted to do there. They don't seem to be spawning. Maybe we need to find a bigger swamp then? Okay, our journey to find a swamp uh, begins again. It's a little drowned village. Nothing actually that I need in here, but you know, nevertheless, cool. Got some loot here and a gem that I don't really need, but I guess I'll take it. Oh, look at this. This is an interesting little structure here. Forged workbench tetrite. Yeah, so this is for a mod that's kind of like Tinker's Construct, I believe. Wooden hammer. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what is happening here. You can definitely make tools with it. I'm not gonna deal with that right now though. Well, we found a moose 
mushroom island before finding a swamp. So that's something, I guess. Here's like a sea temple. There's a chest. Origins of darkness. Uh, that's not good. Bunny hoppers. Grants immunity to fall damage. Ah, uh, that's not bad. A unique gem of the royal family. Blue bombs. I think we've looted mostly everything that was here. We got more gems. Whoa, look at that. Flawless slipstream gem. Plus 50% draw speed. 37.5% mining speed. 12.5% dodge chance. There's a lot of stuff here. Blessing 10. Chance to receive a short buff when hit. I should start taking more of these enchantments and putting them on my gear. Let me try to place this here real quick and see. Let's teleport back to Mothership. Let me just teleport to a bunch of random ports that don't cost me any experience, preferably. Mm, nope. Don't really have any... So I'll have to continue doing what I'm doing for a little bit. Oh, swamp region over there. Okay, wait, there's a bunch of slime nests. Oh my god, I thought they were slimes. I don't know anymore because while there's these slime nests, I'm not seeing any slime spawns. Maybe, I don't know if I need to search underground. I can have a look underground, you know, why not? Oh, and I was reading the comments on the previous video I just posted, Mine Chefs and Monsters, and I've noticed that a lot of you don't like that I don't upgrade my backpacks. Before the end of these 100 days, I'll make another right backpack for myself. How about that? I am sad that I'm not finding any slime stuff. Did I look into whether we can make that thing out of slime balls, for example? Like slime pearl, can you make this? Well, no. You can find it from dungeon chests, apparently. 7.5% chance from a mine shaft. If we find a mine shaft underground, that will boost our chances of finding what we need. Oh, slime spawn egg. <gasps> no. No, I didn't think of that. We could have just set it up in our spawner. My life is so much better all of a sudden. That's so good. So let us waste stone home and mothership. So we need a redstone link. We need sugar. We need a cardboard box as a spawner. Comparator. A lot of clocks. More clocks. There we go. That's another stack. Mm, looks like I need more gas tiers. I'll charge my backpack up and then we'll go collect gas tiers. Oh, by the way, look at these houses. They're completely not safe, but they're cool. Yeah, I'm gonna deal with mine colonies a bit while my jetpack charges. Where's our builder fella? Here he is. Is he happy or no? Tucker, you have everything you need, man. Finish your work. Like, you're taking forever. Seriously. He wants a guard tower. I see. Like, he really wants one. There we go. He finished the residence. Okay, perfect. I'll place this guard tower. That doesn't mean we're actually gonna build it yet. Probably wanna try to place it somewhere over here, maybe? And I'll place that there. Perfect. Okay, now we wanna build that second builder's hut. I've started work on the builder's hut. Beautiful. Okay, let's give him all the materials he needs. Oak cobble. That's all we need. Bam. Okay, all the resources put in and the builder's hut number two should be started. Now that our house has been built, we should be able to do the research that we were looking at earlier. Here are the library. So we need three books. There we go. And bam, I just uh, started an investigation for the library, Lillian. You get to work. Oh, this guy's building up. What? I'm not going to question it. You know, Tucker can do his thing here. My jetpack should be good to go now. Yes, 36 million. Oh my God. I can't wait until we have 72 million instead. Let's go and uh, get the gas tiers we wanted. Oh, is this another one of these ships? I think it is. Ancient debris, plus 40% lifesteal. That's actually insane. Whoa, flawless gem of the ravenous blood lord. I saw something glowing here and I decided to pick it up and wow, 65% bonus lifesteal. Guys, I have currently 15% lifesteal. That's an insane upgrade. Oh, it's a ghast. And I have thought about doing a, a gas spawner, but it seems like it would be way too much work because they're so big and I don't know what the effects of them firing their fireballs are gonna be. I hear a ghast. Here it is. Okay, I don't know, we're up to 37. Okay, well, I'm definitely marking this down because it's awesome. Huge portal. There we go. Okay, let's be honest. I probably have enough gas tiers by this point. I'm at 39. Okay, I need to find a waystone. Whoa, look at this. It's a purple cow. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna mark this down because I'd like to take this cow home with me. So we'll mark it as purple. Oh, and look, it's already purple. That's perfect. Uh, and then we're gonna 
going to come back in a moment. I just need to find a waystone somewhere. That looks very interesting because a meteor spawned right below it. That's funny. Greenwood Pub. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club. Interesting. There's some cool details here. But once again, no waystone. My hunt continues. Dude, what is going on? How can I not find a village? Are you kidding me? I'm going to get mad. No, I don't want to find this type of village. I want one with a waystone. Come on. Oh, finally a waystone. Oh my god. And you know what's funny? Look where it is. It's literally barely above the spot with the cow. Like, that's just how the world works. Now, can I find the cow? <gasps> I can. Here it is. And let me make a boat. Boom. And we're gonna try to put you in the boat, aren't we? Yes, we are. No, go in the boat. Oh, just... Yeah, he goes in the boat. And theoretically, if we go to a mothership... Oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah. Okay, we need to get this guy to a safe spot. Give him a name tag. Hmm, what do we want to name this fella Moople because he's purple and he moves there we go now where do we want to put Moople and also let me get more information on Moople because it's kind of confusing oh, okay apparently it's from the quirk mod and it's like a one out of 1024 chance to get a cow like this we need to find a place to put this guy he's like our mascot we should set up like a little special altar for this guy we'll leave Moople here for now though Moople's chilling I'll feed him some wheat you know here you go Moople boom okay well boy am I glad that we have figured out the slime situation let's get it done Okay, so we're gonna want to put that down. All right, let's see. You have to be kind of careful. So boom, and boom, and then boom, and then comparator, then redstone link. Oh, and we need to set both of these to receiving, but we need a wrench for that. Okay, there we go. I'll get our wrench from create mod and we'll fix that up once our jetpack's fixed up as well. In the meantime, let's check on what's going on here. It looks like our builder's hut number two has been built. Would you look at that? Oh, oh, it looks so scuffed. It looks so bad. I don't know how I ended up placing it above ground, but I did. That's my fault. You know, I'm a bit upset by this. I'm not gonna lie. Let's try to upgrade this actually. Up Upgrade. Bam. So there's a build request for that. And then in the meantime, we can also build this guard tower, I guess. So build building. Uh, we're just going to need to fill that up with resources while we're waiting for our builders to come. I'm going to fill in the dirt over in this area. Oh no. Oh, this is so ugly. Why did I just do this by accident? I hate this and I love this. I have a very much of a love and hate relationship with this mod pack. Your researchers just unraveled the mystery of Keen. So it looks like that research got completed, which is nice. And uh, I mean, this is better than what it was. Also, what does Tucker need over you? here? He needs cobblestone. Okay, let's get you started there, buddy. There we go. Builder's Hut's upgrade is fully underway. Oh, Byron G. Christmas grew up and wants a job now. Interesting. Well, I do need a worker here. Oh, looks like Byron G. is our new builder for the second Builder's Hut. Look at that. That. Here we go. So now we can start doing materials for our guard tower as well. And Byron G needs some basic Hi. tools. So we'll get him those. Bam. Okay, bam. And I have all the materials in for the guard tower. So that is perfectly underway. Now let's do what we wanted to do with the spawner finally. This will actually be a nice time to test both our skeleton and slime spawners. So count me in. Oh, but I do need to add some little fixes to them actually. So we need to do the tip typical sugar and the clocks. I actually have enough clocks to fully do this finally. So that's done. Then I need to set the spawning range lower with the blaze rod and quartz combo. And we need the gas tears that we got. And we need fermented spider eyes. Bop. And I need more sugar. Oop. And oop, there we go. So let's see. We want to spam this. Boom. Bam. So I max them out. And then we want to do the spawn range reduction. And we can also probably add to this like so. Bam. Moment of truth. Let's Let's uh, activate this and see what happens. I'm a bit scared, but let's see. Okay, wait, the chickens are spawning. Oh, but you know what? We might need to add the soul lamps to these other ones. Boom, so we got two of those. Oh, I'm praying that this will work. Theoretically, it's supposed to work, okay? Oh, 
It worked with the skeletons. Oh, I might need to put the slime spawner on the ground. Look at how fast that works, though. This is crazy. Okay, hold on. Let me turn this off for a second. Oh my god, this is insane. Look at that. And we're getting experience out of it. Oh, we're becoming so overpowered. This is insane. We shouldn't celebrate too much yet. Should be now. So let me quickly try to cardboard box the slime and put it next to the chicken. And maybe that'll help it spawn as we want it to. Okay. And then we want to basically put this like on the ground over here maybe for example i don't know if this will work i wish i could deactivate all these things because we can do that but i can't actually put the redstone link on it unless i go like really from up and under you know so we would just put that there and then we'd wrench that boom okay we can test this uh let's see oh the slimes aren't spawning are they this is crazy though okay i did do some more research it's possible that a dragon egg will fix this because what might be happening right now is the slimes need the spawn condition of being below y level 39 or something like that let's just try to add this and hopefully it will work there we go unchecked spawning so theoretically that will do what we want it to let me just take out these and we will normally use these spawners i'm talking in such broken english okay here we go activate oh yes it worked oh my goodness okay but it's not pushing them oh boy oh boy i mean we've got to be getting what we want from that yeah look at that easy peasy 63 slime pearls so we'll leave that to its own devices i am wondering you know what with these fans i think we should implement one lever to control all of them because that will prevent me from dying every time i walk in in fact, it would be nice if I can activate something that deactivates the mob masters and all the fans. Maybe that'll also help with some lag issues because I'm definitely lagging a little bit. Oh, and it looks like there's other types of levers in this pack, which is kind of cool. Old fancy lever. I kind of like that. So let's make one of those. And then we're just going to get some redstone and redstone repeater as we want we're gonna put this lever down here oh my god it's so weird but i'll do it because it's funny so we're gonna now need to run this through and then kind of want to make our way over here as well boom perfect we'll just go through to the other side as well so that's covers all of the fans we're just gonna need to stick the redstone in and then the map mashers well, i don't know they are over here. So let's see what we can do with these guys. Aha. So here's redstone blocks. We want to remove these probably. So with the redstone, we'll run it through like so. And we'll add a repeater every so often. That'll just keep the signal strong. And I hope I'm doing this correctly. I actually have no idea if I am. Okay. Good. Kind of figuring this out. Okay, theoretically, if I turn this on, it should turn everything on. It turned nothing on. Okay, the truth is I have no idea how to do this. That's just the truth. And while I want to figure it out, I don't really want to spend more time trying to figure this out. So if any of you know how to fix this, which I'm sure some of you might, let me know. So I am going to have to place all of the levers back manually. Okay, there we go. We should be back to normal over here. Anyways, we got the slime pearls now. I literally forgot at this point what we, we, what we needed them for. Okay, yes, we were making the harvesting or the fertilizing wand thing. Yeah, harvest rod here we go so we can make this void tier it looks like boom and then we also need this fertile essence boom and now we just need some rose bushes and vines here we go vines then we need to find rose bushes i guess i searched it up it's most commonly found in flower forests but you can also bone meal it depending on which biome you're in bone meal strat is not working too well so far clearly let us search let us search wait hold on is there a nature's compass in this pack <gasps> there is so maybe we should make this and then we can try to find a flower forest that way because i'd much rather do that than spend hours looking for rose bushes if i'm honest with you Oh, yeah, so I guess we need to find a waystone. Oh, look at these foxglove. Oh, yeah, I've seen these types of crop before. They look very cool. I'm not finding a waystone, guys. I mean, the only thing I need is redstone and iron. So I could technically go underground and get that. Uh, hello. I mean, I found another one of these pyramids. I don't know if it was in the last hundred days. All the mods are a different adventure, but I have adventured into one of these. I didn't adventure fully, though. So you know what? Let me mark this down. And if anything, we can return. Let's see, here's a pirate ship. Maybe I can find like iron and redstone here. 
Here's gold. Oh, redstone. I mean, I can go underground real quick. I was just lazy, but I'll do it. And nature's compass. Or I just need logs. I don't think they have to be stripped necessarily. So let's just get some logs. Okay, there we go. And boom, nature's compass. Okay, now we can search. And we want flower forest. Start search. Let's do it. So it's saying that this is a flower forest. That's not really a great flower forest. What can I say? Is this it? I think this is a flower forest right here. It is. It might be more nearby, but uh, yeah, that's not a good look. I'm just going to have to start uh, moving in a different direction. Okay, I found a new flower forest on the compass. And this could help us. And I'm making sure not to use my jetpack too much while traveling because that definitely seems to lag and crash the game. <laughs> so I'm going to have to make a boat and we are going to have to boat through the ocean rather than flying through it. Here we go. Here's a flower forest. Can we find it, folks? Can we? Oh, is that it? Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. It took so long. I feel like I should get a bunch of other flowers while I'm here. Okay. That should be good enough. We finally did it. I'm very, 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 very happy. I'm at the point where maybe I'll just like kill some enemies with their ender pearls and make a waystone myself. There's obsidian. I think we need that for the portal as well. Or for the waystone rather. Oop, there we go. And then we need purple dye. Yeah, so we'll need to find purple flowers if we want to do this. Or red and blue, I believe. Which actually I might have. Yeah, blue and red. And boom, purple. Hold on, so I need four under pearls oh no wait they changed it from purple to amethyst shards that's different dang it not what i thought it was gonna be so really all i need is the amethyst shards especially here we got a boss which i should probably be careful of but you know what i don't care he just did a loop pinata drop which means he dropped a bunch of whatever good loot he normally would drop. He had 21 flawed breach gems. Oh, here we go. Amethyst geode, I think. Yeah. Oh, and there's no amethyst here. One amethyst shard. Are you trolling me right now? You've got to be trolling me. Here's an enderman, though. Give me your ender pearls. Here we go. Enderman number three. Gotcha. I'm not finding any more amethyst clusters in this cave. So when in doubt, just vein mine. Wait, hold on. Look at this. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Since his, when is this thing? But are you guys seeing this? Because I definitely am. This one shots. Whoa. It has efficiency six and plus 34% mining speed on it. That's why. Here it is starting to break. That is an issue, for real. Whoa, golden hook increases experience dropped by creatures. I've never seen that artifact before. That's kind of cool. But excuse me, that's not what I'm looking for right now. How can it be this hard to find amethyst? I'm genuinely so confused. Okay, well, here's the surface. My jetpack is, in fact, just about out of fuel. Theoretically, I should be able to find it in the ocean here, like pretty time proven method of finding amethyst clusters. And it doesn't seem to be working right now. Oh, I ran straight into one. Is it possible that we will actually get what we need? Oh, uh, okay. So there we go. And then we have to smelt up a little bit of cobble. What else do we need? Oh, I need one more ender pearl. Now let's quickly find ender pearls. Oh, here we go, enderman. And there we go, four ender pearls, finally. My stone. I literally have a whole inventory full from all of that. And I did get a wolf spawn egg, actually. Hold on, wolf. So you know what we gotta do. I mean, I might as well tame this fella. There we go. And we'll make your collar purple. There we go, buddy. So we should now be able to make the harvest rod. Oh, okay. Oh man, this might all lead to nothing. Shift right click to toggle auto absorb. There we go. So it's absorbing bone meal. How much bone meal can it absorb exactly? That's my question. It's up to 250. Okay, very well. But that's fine because if we put a chest next to it or something, we can probably somehow automate that. The test is basically using a pedestal, I believe. For now, I'll just use wood, for example. There we go. I don't know. Does that do anything? Oh boy, it's not going to do anything, is it? I need to figure this out. Yeah, so if I right click from here, it works. Yeah, if I literally, if I hold right click, hold on, what's the range? that this works in though. Okay, it works in the direction that I face. So it does have the effect that I'm looking for when it's right clicked and when it's spun around. But is there any way to do that automatically? Automate stuff and things placed in it. Here, pedestal. This is the one we want probably. So white carpet, boom. Just need quartz and gold and then diamond to upgrade it. Don't worry, the appearance of it uh, will be fixed. So boom. And then, uh, well, let me quickly apply all the bone meal and then we want to place that on maybe does that do anything it doesn't do anything 
it's possible it has to be on the ground level. Okay, let's see. Because worst case, we can just have this in all four corners, for example. But no, it doesn't seem like this does anything. Hold on, I might have a fix. I think I need a lever next to this. We would need some way to refill it as well, though. That's some type of an issue. Oh, boom, look at that. It's working. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh, it doesn't replant anything though. Oh no, 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 no. So where did all that cabbage go? It's here. Okay. Well, it, since it breaks the blocks, if we can get something to auto place the crops, then we kind of solve that issue. What if we put this like there and then put that on and just activate it. It seems like it only does forward facing crops. It might be doing the ones behind too. No, it is. It's doing all the crops, but it's just not replanting them, is it now? Yeah. We might want to make something called a plant sower. This might help us out. Oh boy, we need plastic sheets, which are not too easy to make, are they? Pistons, iron gears, heady machine frame, cured rubber. How do I get cured rubber? So cooking up some slime balls. That's fine. We have a slime farm. So we can just pop that in, but we get our cured rubber and then, okay, and then we just smelt that up as well. There we go, plastic. And from there, we can craft a plant sower. Good. Now we need to be able to charge this thing. And for that, we probably just want to charge up an energy cube and take it with us. So we can just pop that here and yeah, that'll get charged. And you know what? For now, we're not going to get too much energy. There we go. Because it stores it so we can take it back. I think we'd basically want to place this under uh, everything. But since we can't perfectly center it, we just go like, oh boy, hold on. This is not good, is it? No, it's not good because we have a water wheel here. Maybe I could take the hit on this one block though and have it there. And then if I put seeds in there. Okay, so we need to charge this as well. For current purposes, I'm just going to do that. And then we want this outputting energy. There we go. And theoretically, that should start planting things down. I don't know what that red's for. Show working area. Oh, so that's the working area is above it. Just a sad day. My farm is in shambles. Okay, I do have an idea that could work. We're going to need to put a pause to this. What we would want to do is have this cube and then we'd have the seeds, then dirt right above. We hoe that. Oh, it already planted it. Now the second step to this is harvesting it, right? So what my thinking is, is that we could have our pedestal and that and then activate it and it's not working because it has no bone meal. That's why. Okay. So we need to fill it up with bone meal. Now my only concern is can we refill this bone meal in any way without having to directly put it in? And we need to be able to do this while our, uh, rod here is on the pedestal. So we'll do that. I activated its auto bone meal collection. Uh, what if I put a chest here and then put that in? Uh, it's not working. I mean, maybe a dispenser. So let's see if it does that. Wait, I think this actually works. This does input the bone meal into this. When I press this, it seems to be, it is bone mealing over there. It's not bone mealing this block, but that's not a bad problem to have because we can fix that if anything. In that case, maybe I should make this coin of fortune because it can draw in items and XP. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to show you guys what I mean. Basically, we don't need this anymore. I think we should make this coin of fortune because it's going to draw in items, right? So that's good because if it vacuums things into one area, that's going to make it easier to farm. Maybe we can just remove this and we can use this area in a different way, you know? So now we need to get this bat thing. Hello, would you like to drop a wing? No. Oh, it dropped one. Okay, now we need to go into the end and quickly get the nebulous heart or whatever it's called. There we go. I got a nebulous heart. So we wanted to make the coin of a fortune. Boom. So how does this work? I think you have to put it on another pedestal right next to this one. We'll just do this and then we activate it. How would we automate the dropper? So let's see. Everything's working and it's growing the items over there. Not here <laughs> specifically, but everywhere. Okay, so it's it's working. This isn't pulling in items from all the way over there. Is it pulling in items at all is the question. Shift right click to activate. There we go. Now it's activated. Let's see if I drop. Oh yeah. No, it definitely pulls items in. Oh yeah, yeah. It's instantly taking the items, I think. Unless I'm, oh, nope. That's only the seeds, I guess. So it looks like I need to have an inventory next to this. So if I put in, oh yeah, it's sucking in items. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And also I'm gonna have to remake all of this. 
see. So if I put the seeds in here, is it gonna start planting anything? No. I don't understand how it was planting things before. What's planting that? Are you now telling me that this thing plants things? Cause I'm gonna be so upset. There's no way. If you put seeds inside of the pedestal, I think it might replant things. But see, it's doing nothing now. Oh, it's deactivated, that's why. No way, no way. You're kidding me. I didn't know you could put seeds into this. <laughs> so if I use it with seeds though, is it gonna also bone meal? If not, I can just place a second one. So honestly, that's not even an issue, is it? I wonder if it has the same range even if I move it up by one block. It does, doesn't it? Wow. Uh, with the coin of fortune, it can pick up all items around it as well. Oh, I can place it right above. And then we could place this. So now that'll pick up any items around as long as we have a chest connected to it. Yeah, but then the only thing is we do need that dropper setup, I believe, right? Because we need a way to give this infinite bone meal still. We have to move these one block up at least. So we'll start from here. So now let's set up the dropper system real quick. I have essentially set up our farm. We have a dropper with a kind of, I don't know what you call this, but it cycles it so that it continuously activates bone meal. Then I have a hopper with a chest for more bone meal. And then we have this thing that has the coin of fortune on it, which just sucks up all the items into this chest. Anyways, let's see. So if I just input that, yep, it's getting to work. All done. Now, if we want, we can build something, finally. We don't have any design for the building. That's what we gotta do next. We could just follow that exact uh, design plan. So we need more of this aluminum glass, quartz, gold, and the limestone, I believe it was. Hardened glass, boom. That wasn't enough because we're out of quartz. Okay, well, let's quickly mine some up. There we go, quartz. And there we go. Hopefully that'll be enough aluminum glass. Finally, we just need those gold blocks. So we'll start with outlining the sides with quartz pillars. out of aluminum glass. I saw that coming. Ooh, okay, wait, I have like a whole inventory of aluminum glass. That should be more than enough. Also, for some reason, <laughs> I just realized I forgot that I have the infinity one. All the aluminum glass is done. Now, limestone. Let's try to use some of this. And also, I should make another gold trap door so we can have the same access as we do over here. Boom. Okay, now I'm curious about one thing. It does seem like the item collector might still work up here. It doesn't by one block, I think, because on that block, it will work. Oh, no, but we want this to do carrots, so we do need another harvest rod. Then it's actually better if it doesn't work. Is that going to start planting on it? <gasps> it's not. It's not. That's, that's good. Perfect. So, I'll just replicate the same design for carrots. And I think I have everything for another harvest rod. Let's see. Just about. I need another nebulous heart. And let's see what else I need. I need another rib bone, which is a skeleton drop. And I actually probably already have some from my mob farm. There we go. I got it. Boom. Void tier. And rib bones. And harvest rod number two. And I have no carrots in my inventory apparently. Well, we gotta find carrots. So let's do that, I guess. Here's a village. Carrot. Bam. We got it. I'm gonna place another gold trapdoor here so we can get to both layers if we want to. And now I just need to get water. Okay, boom. Here we go. And we also wanted to move this up one, which we should do. And I'll actually make this a double chest now. And then we'll just break this. There we go. And then coin fortune and activate. If I throw something down here, it also works. Bam. Perfect. And now we'll do this. So we go one, two, then the pedestal and harvest rod. We'll set up the auto dropper. Also, wait, I <laughs> forgot about adding a hopper and chest. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, perfect. So we can start filling this up with bone meal. We'll put that on there, activate it, and it should do exactly what we need it to. Look at it go. Oh, perfect. It's already bone mealing and growing everything. I do wonder if we can actually connect a backpack here instead of a double chest. Oh, that would be so much better. Yeah, let's make a netherite backpack again. And in fact, let's make two because we should upgrade ours. But first I'll make another backpack. Bam. And we'll take it through all the stages from iron all the way to diamond. And then for netherite, we need to put it in a smithing table. So we just need netherite ingots, which we have a lot of. Boom. Boom. Second netherite backpack. Perfect. And I can equip this one. Break this. Put that on top of it. And it's working. Oh, yes. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it's beautiful because, oh, we need to add the upgrades to it. But other than that, it's beautiful. We can do stack upgrades. I think that's what we need. So we'll just do a few stack upgrades. Now I'd like to get these gold ones, but I'm pretty low on gold. That's not good. Boom, I can make one, two, there we go. Okay, that should be enough. So we'll just put these in there and theoretically, yeah, we can start stacking things like crazy. Yeah, it's stacking over 900 in one stack. Look at that, we have everything. Now we just need to put it into cooking and stacks and stacks of this stuff should be made. Okay, let's activate this for a bit. And oh yeah, that's going. So that'll get us some bones in no time. Okay, I should probably turn this off. Yeah, we're doing good. And moment of truth, let's go to our cooking station. Here we go. And oh, we can't put this in the oven, can we? We have to put this in the cooking pot specifically. Okay, so let's make a cooking pot then. Boom. Okay, boom, cooking pot. Okay, what can we do with this? Let's see if we can put it in our pre-existing cooking station. Cool, so we can put in ingredients, but I'm wondering if we can funnel things in with a hopper or something, just so that we can automate this somewhere. So, hopper and chest. And let's see, for example, oh, yes, things do go in, but they go in the wrong place. I don't know if I can actually change that in any way. Maybe it depends on the item as well. So for example, if I put in carrots, ooh, see they're going there. Okay, well that's obviously not what we're looking for. Maybe if we put it through the top, it might funnel like we want it to. <gasps> yes, it's working good. So then we would just have a double chest here and we would put in exactly what we want to put in. And I wonder if there's like a advanced hopper here, rapid hopper. So let's see, that's kind of what we would want for this to work because it's going really slow right now, which might cause issues in the long term. Okay, there we go. And boom, rapid hopper. And I'll make two of these. We also need another chest. And I believe we want bowls because that is what we're going to put our chicken soups into. So let's see it rapid hopper oh that's rapid all right oh yeah perfect and as we can see it has the exact things that we want oh the only thing is we only want there to be oh man okay well i put a bowl in there i think we might need some source of heat below so we can set that up i don't know if we can use like magma let's test it so we put that there and boom it's getting to whir oh there, there we go it's heated but it's not getting to work, and that's because we have too many items. This is unfortunate, very unfortunate. Factory hopper. Oh, you can have an insertion delay. Factory hopper, boom. And let's say we put the factory hopper here, for example. Insertion delay. So let's say we want that 10 seconds. There we go, boom. So it takes about 10 seconds to do one, but the issue is how is it going to know which item to do? Unless it has some type of a cycle, which I don't think it does. There we go. Okay, I turned off redstone. So it did something, but now it's just going to keep on putting in chicken. Well, it's giving me chicken soup, you know. We finally made some chicken soup, folks. Yep, there we go. So already issues. There's one more solution I just thought of. So basically, if we would be able to input items from all directions with hoppers, then I could essentially set one up with only one item type in each and have them with the delay so that it just continuously works as we want it to. Let's see, so if I try to do it from this angle, will that work, for example? It doesn't seem to be doing anything. What about from here? Can that work? It's not working. Okay, wait, I have one more idea. Folks, 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 we have this hopper that does in fact work, right? Now, if we can somehow attach these other hoppers to it and make them input items, which I think we can, then we might have a shot at making this work. Hold on, hold on. So basically we're gonna wanna set each of these to a timing of about five seconds for now. That's what we'll do. And then we would get a stack of each ingredient. Boom, it actually works. So we want cabbage to be at two times speed, essentially, of the other ones, in a sense, right? Yeah, see, that's a problem, though, because it's only going to go to this one. Okay, let's test something then. If this is at a full stack, for example... Oh, man, now I'm out of bowls. I'm fine. Everything is totally fine. I need to get some wood to make more bowls, so let's do that. Boom, make a bunch of bowls. Thank you very much. And that's another thing we're gonna need to do is somehow input the bowls. Right. Does that input bowls? 
I think it does actually, yes. But the only thing is if I have something here, it goes instantly down into here, which is now another issue. This omnidirectional hopper might actually work. So I'll make a couple of those. Okay, I don't know. What if we do it like that? Look at that, this might work, but it's not outputting anything. But that's okay, because it shouldn't be able to output anything. We actually want it to go the other way. There we go. Yes, yes, that's what I'm looking for, baby. Yeah. Okay, I only had to take apart the whole thing to do that, but totally fine. Oh, this is the most scuffed thing ever, guys. It's working, though. It's working. This is the most scuffed setup. So, theoretically, we put that in there, and we can get all of our carrots. Boom, pop them in. Chicken, boom pop it in cabbage pop it in so there we go that's kind of working so now we have a permanent food source that is a lot better than what we had before and theoretically if we ever need more we just check up on some machines that we have out here real quick we do a quick boom bam <laughs> and everything is done for us i'd like to get back to doing some mine colony stuff and also i need to mine because i'm out of like every material no to man. So before we go mining, I'll charge my backpack as usual and let's go check up on the mine colony. We need one dirt, folks, one dirt, bam. I think we should build a restaurant. That'll keep our folks happy because you know, feeding your townsfolk is probably a good idea. Yeah, here we go. Where do we want to put this restaurant is a good question. We could probably put it somewhere back here. Bam. Perfect. Okay, build and build building. Bam, so we'll get that started. Maybe we should build a hospital if we can. Let's see, hospital requires research at the university. And I don't remember, did we complete researching for a hospital? Unlocks hospital. Oh, did we not do this? I Maybe we didn't. And bam, there we go. So now that's getting investigated. And you? soon we'll be able to build a hospital. Now let's see, what are the other fundamentals that we haven't built? Forester's hut gathers and plants trees. Interesting, but I'm not sure if that'll be faster or even close to how many trees I can break in a very short period of time. But these are interesting things. I feel like maybe I should have one mine in Forester's Hut. Let's see, mines and boom, mine. This one we can probably put off to the side here. Oh boy, how do we even place this down? It literally doesn't show up. I have no idea where it is right now. Oh, I see it. Look at where it is. How did it get all the way over there? Oh yeah, I'm moving it. <laughs> Something like that. Boom. Let's get this started. This one doesn't work for some reason though. I don't know why. Because I have the mines assigned and I have the restaurant. So here Tucker's already working on the restaurant, which is perfect. I guess the second worker doesn't seem to work. Okay. Okay, well, it is what it is. You know, let's at least try to fill up the materials for this building. Look at this, by the way. We're starting to look pretty formidable, to be honest. And I have to make these weird blocks sometimes. Like, these are strange to make. I think I need these panels. So I'll make a good amount of them. Finally, a cobblestone wall. And was it a crafting table, I think? Yep. Bam. Okay, so restaurant is fully underway then. The only thing is, maybe I should help Tucker in clearing this out a bit better. Okay, look at the range on my shovel. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Oh yeah, Tucker's going after it now. Perfect. Byron might be glitched. Byron's acting a little strange. Actually, hold on. I have an idea. Build options. Builder. Byron. Build building. <gasps> Maybe I did it this time. I purposely selected him. <gasps> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That's what it is. You have to select the specific builder. So I think he's going to his builder's hut now. Now that that's going, we will get the materials for that second build. And then we're going to go mining. Oak stuff. And that's mostly it. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. And bam. Oh, you need a hoe. Okay. We'll get you that. Boom. Perfect. Anyways, time to go mine in the mining to mention for a bit, which as you all know already, is one of my favorite things to do, clearly. I absolutely love it. Look at that, look at that, that's beautiful. That's just beautiful. Okay, that should be good enough for iron. Like, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. And uh, now I'm gonna dig down to the deep slate layer, which is where we're gonna try to get gold mostly. Aha, here we go. Yummy gold. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bam. Okay, that's probably enough for now. You know, that's probably a good amount. <laughs> 
Aha. And here we go. Okay, so it looks like we got just over four stacks of gold and four and a half stacks of iron. <laughs> Not bad. And you know what? The, all the modium furnace is good and all, but you know what would be really good? The vibranium furnace. Yeah, I think we need to get the vibranium and the unobtainium furnace. So if we want vibranium, that is found in the nether, I believe it was. So we can either do that in the mining dimension or we can just fly around the nether. And I think we can do a bit of both of anything. But to start, I think we should just go in the nether. Let's go in the nether and get this really important thing. <laughs> so we need one of the forest, crimson or warped. I think we're in the crimson forest right yeah and then it has to be at y level 100 to 123 about and vibranium tends to spawn kind of up on the ceiling and the edges of the ceiling especially so let's see if we can find it just as i say that i find vibranium my jetpack's running low, so I'm thinking we will go to the other dimension now and see our luck there. I do have 40 vibranium, which is pretty close to the amount we need for the furnace, I believe. If not everything. Let's see what this is all about. So theoretically between Y level 0 and 20. Oh, here we go. I think I actually found some vibranium. I did. That's not bad. It's also three. With that, I think it's a good time to head back home. I got exactly a stack, it looks like, so that works for me. Okay, I'm up to the surface, but I'm a bit... Oh, I'm far away from the portal, and I actually don't know where the portal is for this dimension. Uh, luckily, I opened my F5 when I first entered this dimension, so I know exactly where we need to go. There we are, boom. And this time I will make sure to mark this down on the map. Okay, let's smelt this up, boom. And one, two, three, four, boom. All the modium to vibranium. So with this, we should be able to, boom, transform it, perfect. And we are left with one more upgrade, which is unobtainium. I have to charge my backpack, so let's quickly see how we're doing with mine colonies. We have not progressed uh, very far here, so. That's not the best, but that's okay. The restaurant's coming along. That's good. Let us begin our final search for the best furnace that we can get on Updanium. To the end we go. And we're searching for the end highlands biome specifically. So let's see how long it takes me to find that. And highlands, okay. So this should be it. Hello, I would like to find the ore. Yeah, I'm not finding any on this island here. Here we go, here's another end highlands. Let's see if we have any better luck. And I'm at 2 million jetpack energy. So I should probably try to find a port and then we will try again after we charge the jetpack up. Oh, it's a waystone. That's incredible. So let's head back home. Looks like the miner and cook have been finished, which uh, basically means the restaurant and mines. So that's nice. You have to first set a guard to guard mine mode. Okay, we don't need that necessarily, but what do we do with this mine? Levels. I don't see much. Maybe we need to research more into this to be able to use it. Let's do a quick checkup on a restaurant here. Smelting recipes. Interesting. Okay. Looking good so far. And uh, maybe we'll have to check up on these later. All right. Well, let's get back to searching. Oh, there we go. I found some. Finally. There's the first piece that we found out here. And now we just got to replicate this process for a bit. And I think we have enough on Obtanium, so we did it. Let's see here. Boom. Oh my god, that's so fast. I don't know why I did this. So I believe we need four again. Bam. Vibranium to unobtainium. Woo! Unobtainium furnace. Should we test this on a stack of iron blocks? Let's see. Oh, and it's done. Okay, so we accomplished that, which is good. But now we need to form our next objective. And I'm not sure what I want that to be yet. Maybe let's upgrade our mines. 
Hopefully we'll slowly start going underground. I don't know. And we'll also start building the hospital. Boom. Hospital. And where are we placing that? I don't know how big it can. Oh, hospital's pretty small, actually. In that case, maybe we'll move it over like so. And we'll kind of put it next to the university. Bam. Also, we want to build a tavern probably because I saw something about these bringing in tourists. So that means maybe that'll help us bring more colonists. Mm-hmm. And we can just place this right away, basically. Uh, maybe we can put it out here. Yeah, something like right there would be pretty good. So we'll place that. We're gonna need to start supplying materials. Okay, I'll do that real quick. <laughs> check this out. I need some stone. Well, that is absolutely not a problem. Amazing. And here we go. Bam. So that's the mine upgrade. And also for the hospital, I forgot to specifically assign our builder like we wanted to. Oh, I never even pressed build, I guess. Build options, builder, Byron, and build building. Boom. So hopefully that is going to get that started. While we're waiting for things to progress, let's see how our university is doing. What do we want to research? Oh, max citizens plus 25. Requires residences, totaling at least least four levels and requires university level two. So we need to upgrade our university and a residence next, I'd say. And now we can supply whatever's needed for the hospital. And it looks like, folks, I need to get more oak. Wow, the hospital requires a lot of resources. Okay, let's get some wood. That's wood collected. Oh, and the mine's already been upgraded. That's great. Boom. All the materials for the hospital in there. Okay. And I'll finish up on the tavern too, I guess. And now I'm going to do the materials for the tavern. Oh, so many things. A laying barrel. Look at that. What is this item? Laying barrel. That looks really sketchy. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, yeah. Okay. It looks better there. <laughs> Thank goodness. Four white beds for one tavern. Uh, interesting. And I need more wool. I do need to get those animal farms done like I wanted to. That's probably one of the next things we'll work on. But I am enjoying figuring out mine colonies here a bit because we are progressing a bunch. Bam. Okay, all the materials for the tavern. Let's have a look at the mines because they got finished. Yeah, so it's still not going underground. I'm guessing though, as we progress, it will go further underground. Uh, like, let me see. If I try to go to level three here, it looks like it's working on building a roof then. So I I don't know, maybe it's a long process or maybe it never goes down. <laughs> I have no clue. I'm gonna keep an eye out to make sure that they're not about to start uh, trying to dig again. Nope, in fact, he's building, but that's fine. I'll drop a couple stacks of dirt as well to Tucker here so that he has that in case. All right, I'll leave him to it for a little bit. And the next thing I did want to do is build that animal farm. Now, there are a lot of th things we can use, like an animal feeder, uh, animal baby separator. That's interesting. So what? Are we going to have futuristic animal farms then? Maybe that is what we will do. First, let's continue this pathway around to our uh, crop farm here. And I should probably work on removing this. Oh, you know what I'm really curious about? And I'm kind of afraid to check out our food farm, please. I'm hoping that it's, uh, oh, 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 okay, it did stop. But look how far it went before it stopped. That's not a bad rate. Oh, I'm out. No, so it did work. Would you look at that? Okay, I think we should make these animal farms. And I'm kind of having an idea in my mind, which is potentially kind of having a staircase going down and having some kind of a green block. Maybe we could use a lot of glass, but have some type of a glowing effect and then have the animals separated within that. We could probably just do a circle here with the animals and then we'll split it into three because we need cows, sheep, and pigs, I guess. So I can start that off by just expanding our area that we have with uh, the polished soapstone. And we do still need to figure out is what to do with the village because right now it's an awkward transition and it feels like if we really wanted to do a good job we would start contaminating the village here that would look so cool and then maybe eventually we would do the same with the mine colony although that is a bit harder 
What is that? Barbarians? Mysterious warriors have been spotted northeast of Suevo's colony. Oh my god. Well, first of all, I'm sleeping. Yeah, so this is a mine colony thing, clearly. Wait, so northeast. Where did these fellas spawn, though? Oh, oh, there they are. Look at them, look at them. You losers. Look at them. I'll be back. Yeah, right, buddy. Oh, you're done. Victory. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get back to what I was doing. The amount of land I'm filling in is crazy. Yeah, so all the 2,000 blocks of soapstone that I had, I've used it all, folks. Okay, let's get more. Oh, and it looks like the hospital's been finished. I'm gonna wait for the tavern to finish up as well, and then we'll be able to do the upgrades and stuff that we wanted soon with the residents. Back to what I was doing again. Okay, and I think I just saw that the tavern finished itself as well. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look at this. Ibrahim P. Diel. Diel is from a place where the old dusty books live, but after living so long in between these books, Ibrahim needs to see other people. Oh, recruit for redstone, huh? I'll let I'll us recruit you. A growing settlement means a growing responsibility. You should consider placing a restaurant to keep your settlers well fed. Okay, well, good thing we already have a restaurant. Cool, so this is bringing people in. Assign citizens one out of four. So I wonder if We'll have that fill up to the amount of four soon. So we need to upgrade the university and one residence. Was that it? Yeah, it requires university level two and residence is totaling level four. Let us get that done. And a new child has been born. Also a new settler arrived. So we need guard towers, also a warehouse. So we had a new settler. I'm trying to find them, but I can't see. Oh, uh, Ibrahim, what kind of fuel I should use in my furnace? So I'm guessing coal, coal on. We should give a bunch of coal probably. Oh yeah, warehouse. Okay, so we already have that. Well, you know what? Uh, let's go for it. We can maybe just place it over here because the mines are over here. Wait, this block is missing its respective building. Try restarting or loading a backup. Excuse, what? Okay, hold on. So I'm reading there is something called like a courier. Okay, courier's hut. So we might actually just need to make one of these these and then maybe we'll be able to make a warehouse and maybe we can just build this somewhere here hold on hmm it's almost as though it's like removed because i can't see the buildings we need wait uh okay wait it works if both are placed down it actually works oh that's beautiful so in that case we're gonna move this over i don't know let's place it there you know what if it ends up looking terrible it is what it is so build building yeah let's go for it okay oh and we need to get uh, coal over to our chef. Yeah, Here you, you go, my so. friend. Um, okay. Hello, Adeline. <laughs> Adeline's just sitting in the I block. Waves her hand and mumbles something like, may tree force be witch you. Okay. Well, let's get her 27 gold, which is pretty expensive, What's but it, it is what it is. Gold. Here's your gold. Oh, and we also got another one. Leonardo here wants care. books and he's worked as a carpenter. Very cool. Okay. Let me get some books then. Boom. What is Recruit. It? Colony does not have enough space to house another citizen. Wow. Can you believe that uh okay well that means that we need to do some upgrades to our housing i see so let's get the materials for this university start filling this up boom 687 oak planks and i still need more stairs oh boy this is expensive <laughs> Okay, that's definitely a good amount of oak for now. And I need to smelt up some cobblestones. Okay, and we specifically need these spruce plank panels. And we should have everything, finally. That actually was the longest that it took to get materials for anything. Boom, there we go. It's filled in, though. He's still asking for glass panes. All right, I'll give it to him. Okay, bam, there we go. And then we need the ingredients for the warehouse. Let's do it. <laughs> bam, okay, there we go. That's all the materials needed for the warehouse. And he needs a shovel. Boom. Oh, and we got more. I still don't have room to house them. I wonder if I upgrade these houses, if they'll be able to house more people. I'm guessing that's how it works. I hope so. What are you trying to dig out here? Okay, so you're digging this. Let me help you. Since we couldn't see what the placement actually looked like, I have no idea what uh, the outline is like. And now listen, hear me out, okay? I did want to build an animal farm, okay? For all the animals, but another thing I really wanted to do before the end of these 100 days is make some really cool armor. I don't even know if we'll end up using it. We might, but it's mainly for the principle. Now, hold on. I was just looking through here, and when you craft an unobtainium furnace, you get this rainbow coal thing. Oh, it just says smelts one item. Either way, though, I want to get rainbow coal, even if it's for one use. Damn. 
Yeah, there we go. So that completes the achievement. And I also got mining gadget again. We got that in the last hundred days. So now we can put rainbow coal in there. So I'd also like to make this all the modium armor at least, which seems to be simple enough. It just requires all the modium and netherite. And I think we might already have enough all the modium. Yeah. Oh, by far. I have so much. And then we just need netherite gear. I have a netherite helmet. And I can probably make one more piece like boots, but I can't really make much more. So we can quickly mine and that'll give us what we want if i remember correctly the mining dimension was actually pretty good for ancient debris so that's where i'm gonna look for it here we go this is the first piece i found oh wait i have more than enough netherite bam oh yep it used up a little bit of a rainbow coal bam okay i have nine netherite ingots plus i had some in here boom boom Boom, that's full another red set. And all the modium, helmet, chest plates, leggings, boots, sword, axe, shovel, and finally, oh, boom. Look at that, we've made all the modium items. Let's take a look at what this looks like, actually. I'm looking cool, folks. I actually am. Okay, I will stick with my gear because our gear is very good, but, oh. Ooh, here we go. Cosmetically, we can equip the, all the modding gear. So uh, we're balling out here. What can I say? How are we doing over here, folks? Okay, bam. Take that yes. shovel. I guess she is our miner or something. What's she going to be doing? Is she going to be digging down? Oh, is she actually digging? No way. I want to extend this out a little bit more over. And then we will build our circular animal farm. Okay, there we go. Look at this. Look at this. So it's getting better and better as we kind of slowly add things to our base design here. Now I should mark out the circle. So let me quickly do that. Now we will fill in the lighting. There we go. The lighting has been filled in. We're looking good. And it's time to work on the design for the animal farm. So what we could do, well, first of all, is break out all of this. Yeah, looks good. So we want this to go down like this. This is what we want to do. Okay, there we go. Now we will want to dig out the floor further because I want to make it green. And like I said before, I kind of want to make it glow. Uh, I do know there's an effect you can do with glass if you stack multiple layers of it. That looks pretty cool. So maybe what we can do is literally break down one, two, three, four, five. Maybe even push it. Oh my goodness. I can go to seven because of the shovel. So you know what? We're going to go seven layers down. Okay, I've cleared it out and we're just going to have to fill it in now. Now I'm just about out of polished soapstone. But let's see how far it'll get us. Maybe it's enough actually for the ring. We should just be able to do that. Boom. Uh, close, close. Not there, but uh, very close. So let's go mine some soapstone. Cool. So now let's look into how much sand and glass we've got. And we have over a thousand, but even that probably isn't going to be near to enough. And I think our main problem, though, is going to be getting that lime dye. So we can do cactus with white dye to get it. If we can go to a desert that has a lot of cactus, that could be the solution to our problems. There's some cactus, so I'll get to work. Okay, so, so far from all the collecting I have done, I got five stacks of green dye, which five times eight, what? That's like 40 stacks of glass of lime green dye we can make. In fact, another fact is that the green dye we use will get doubled because we will combine it with white dye. I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, it's looking like we might be done with collecting our dye sooner than later, which is good. Okay, maybe let's head back and see how much we can get done with the resources we have already collected. Luckily, smelting things is no problem for us, so it'll literally take a second. And it's looking like this has a lot of uses, I guess. Yeah, let's see how much lime dye we can make. Yep, there we go. Not bad. In fact, I can make some more. 
Look at that. And we'll make a bunch of lime stained glass to the point where I've run out of glass. So we're gonna need to smelt up sand. Yeah, so sand, smelt it up. Wow, wait, is this really an infinite piece of coal? That's that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Look at that, that's awesome. Okay, there we go. So that is a good amount of a lime stained glass, 2,500 pieces. We'll see if that's enough, it might be. Now I just need that bottom block. Okay, so I actually searched it up. What it seems like we can do is use any light source at the bottom. So we can even just take out shroom lights. We will place these all around. And I think we're out of shroom lights, yeah. So I'm gonna need to grab some more and we get to work. All right, I'm definitely all done collecting these and let's finish filling this in just like this. Bam, perfect. Okay, now for the glass effect, from what I saw, best strategy is just making a row in the middle like this, and then we can spam it to fill it up. Bam, okay, that's one layer done. And now we leave a gap and we just do the same thing up here. This is gonna have a yellowish look to it maybe, but honestly, that's fine. So it's definitely more yellow than I would have liked. Nevertheless, look at it, it's it's pretty cool. And now we'll just separate it. And I don't know how to exactly split this three ways. So for the sake of making this look symmetrical, I think we'll just have a four way split. Okay, now let's get some animals in there. How can I transport them easily? Yeah, it looks like there's a few options. Mob imprisonment tool is one, and it seems like it's simple to make. So let's try this out. Let me make a few of these, just because why not? There we go, five. And let's test it out. Boop, oh yeah, it works. It works very well. So I'll just drop these off and continue doing that until we fill this up a little bit. And you know what? I can't think of any fourth animal to put in for now. So we're just gonna get chickens in there. Then at least I feel a little bit better about our chicken killing chamber. Although that's totally not what it is. <laughs> I'll get a few more chickens in and we should have the base of everything finished. Bam. I may or may not be able to fly out, but I don't know, I'll leave that up to fate. Now, let me quickly check up on our mine colony. So the university is done, and it looks like the warehouse is almost. Hold on, what's going on? Because the fact that there's no way out of here is a bit scary. What happened? I hope our builder did not die or something. I don't care that you're sleeping. Uh, you don't like staying out. Oh, and you need oak slabs, apparently. I don't know why, but you do. Okay, let's get him these resources. I think it glitched out a little bit. And boom, boom, boom. That should fix our issues. Hello, Carla. Need cobblestone to start working. Okay, I don't know what Carla's up to over here. Here you go. And let's upgrade this place. Boom, build the request created. Oh, there we go. I finished building the warehouse. You've built a warehouse. However, your people are too tasked as it is to fill it. Build some couriers hut to hire couriers. Up to two can work per warehouse level. Then we should build this. Build building. And the residence is being worked on as well. Very cool. We can take our resource scrolls and mark down all the stuff we need to collect. And yeah, I'm going to get to work filling all this in. And Bam, that should all be filled in. Although I never put these items in, so I'm not sure where it counted me as having them, unless that's already what's in the building. Maybe that's what it is, I, I don't know. And okay, time to do this one. And boom, there's the materials for the courier's hut. And looks like Carla's still up to something over here. She needs it. ladders. Boom. Oh yeah, so she's digging down. She's probably gonna need a pickaxe in a second here. So let me just make that right away for her. I already know what's coming. Cool, cool. Everything's being worked on. And I guess as the next thing, maybe we should start overtaking this village with soapstone, which is not an easy objective to take on, but I do think it has to be done. So I'm thinking we're basically gonna have to start digging out the dirt and then replacing it rather than placing things on top of it. So let's begin doing this. 
Yeah, this is actually a little bit easier to do than I thought it would be. Damn, what just happened? A new child is now happily living in Suevo's colony, and I got 10 citizens in total already. Wow, that's a lot. Good, good developments are going on. All right, back to mission village conversion. I'm also planning on adding little roads, kind of with the same design that we have going on here. So I think that'll make it look more under the theme as well. Also, let me quickly check on everything. Oh, there we go. Courier's hut done. Oh, it's so small. It's quite ugly, actually. So that's done. That's good. And now we should be able to do the research we wanted to at our university. Yeah, so we just need 64 stake and we can increase our max citizen cap. Stake. Oh, I don't have any stake. And this is exactly exactly why we are growing animal farms. I'll just uh, keep breeding our cows and when we have enough, I'll complete uh, that research. For now, let's finish up some more of the village transformation. No. No, I just filled all of this in. No, no. Okay, I kind of fixed it. I'm wondering if for now we can kind of leave the village semi-corrupted just so we can move on to some other final projects for these hundred days. I mean, it is what it is, right? Like we're kind of starting the corruption, but it's not done. Okay, now one thing I do want to do, and I was reminded of, uh, about this when I was talking to my editor actually, is build a shrine for Moople. Okay, it's extremely important. Now where? Um, here it's a bit impractical because this is our storage area and doing it out in the open Open, I don't think would be a great idea. I think the best place to do it would be on this middle layer and maybe somewhere right here. Whoa, there's purple pumpkins. That's uh, that's really cool. In that case, we should get a few of those for the shrine. Let me see if I can change these into the purple variant. Oh, I can. And pumpkin. Can I turn this into the jack-o'-lantern? Oh, carved pumpkin. Oh, okay. There we go. That'll be cool. I think we should have a purple carpet underneath. Boom. And we need some bars. And then I think we should just use some type of wood. Uh, maybe birch, actually. Birch would look pretty nice. That's what I'll use. Okay, let's build this totally not jail cell. This is so cursed. Oh my god. It's just so bad. It's, oh my god. You know what? I kind of like having this little opening here. That's nice. And then, you know what? We'll finish this off with, oh, with some very cursed looking pumpkins. Holy moly. I kind of like those, actually. Hold on. Let me fill the bottom in with those. Totally normal shrine. Okay, Moople, we love you, buddy. And there's some more cows around, so I'll collect those because I still want to get that steak to make the upgrade that we wanted to do. There we go, that's five more cows. And we'll keep breeding them. All right, that's nice and dandy. I did forget, I need to add pathways here. So I'll do that right now with quartz and limestone. Oh, and mysterious warriors have been spotted south slash west of my colony. Okay, let's go protect that really quickly. Are you guys going to be friendly? Oh, no, you're not. I've, nothing's ever been easier in my life. That was so easy. Oh, oh, you're in the wrong. Okay. Oh, my. All right. Well, there's the steak that I needed. Go. I just have only the edges done and now I'm gonna go around and try to add one layer at a time and I need a specific strategy so I'll just dig this out and then add it. Boom. Okay, so that should be two layers total around the circle um, and I'll add one more layer. Okay, there we go. That's an attempt at doing this correctly. Oh boy, I have no words. Now we can add the wall around it and uh, we'll call uh, that part done. Okay, and that is outlined. I guess with our last kind of day and a half left, let's just finish some tasks in our mine colony. So I wanted to research the outpost, boom. We can also unlock the barracks, which I don't know exactly what that does, but that's a new structure. We just need to supply three blocks of iron. Oh, and this is our courier. Hey there, have you heard of the clipboard? It's a tool that can help you keep track of all the requests in our colony. If you could bring me one, I would be forever grateful. 
cool. Let's go make one of those. Boom and bam. To use it, simply shift right click on any hut block. This will give you an overview of all the requests in the colony. It's super handy. Oh, there's a lot of them. That's really useful though. Yeah, I don't know folks. I mean, on that note, it's day 199 after I sleep. We will have officially made it to day 200. And I feel like I've, uh, I've done everything I wanted to do in this section in uh, these 100 days. And with that, folks, it is the night of day 199. I will go to sleep on this very edge of our ship. <laughs> That's it. That's the 200 days, folks. That's the video.